Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I am the Emperor, and this is Crusader Kings 3. Learning as we play, teaching you as I play, basically. And uh, we are playing the Empire of Carpathia. In this series, we have started from a literal scratch down here in the county of Gemer, which no longer belongs to us because we have moved over to Krakow, which is now our capital. And we have built all this from starting as a count. All this light yellow here is what is ours. We can see some other big players around us. The Byzantine Empire hasn't collapsed yet, which I find quite impressive. Bavaria has retained its independence while they have been uh, our ally throughout a lot of this time. Germany has heavily increased toward the Scandinavian countries. Italy has become, well, through no bloody conquest, actually, but just because we were so very well inclined, has become part of our little empire here. West Francia, Burgundy, nothing here super interesting, except for Brittany, maybe. Alba exists, Ireland exists, England exists. Um, the Persian Empire is... Actually, that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, what's the... Oh, okay. I mean, they're kind of smaller than us at the moment, but they sure are a force to be reckoned with. And the Byzantine Empire is in a little bit of an uproar here, and they are losing several wars, which is interesting. Boy, are they horribly weak. Um, so before we try and... Uh, capitalize on that. I'd say we try and check out our own factions. Like, this one, I don't understand how that is still a thing. Because this guy doesn't have a claim. Um, not the, not the one they're trying to claim. Anyhow. Uh, there's also really not much I can do about this guy. Um, couldn't disinherit him, but that doesn't help us. Uh, so I really don't know. Can we seduce our enemies? No, they are not to be seduced. Can we sway them? Well, we're not swaying two people, and we have another sway. So let's try and sway this guy from stopping this. We will stop learning a language, but that's okay. I can deal with not learning a language here. Because I don't want to start a war and then immediately be jumped upon by all of our own lords here. Because that would be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? Um, definitely not something we want to happen. Uh, we are earning some good money right now because the church is back on our side. Let's check out all, all these lovely messages. And... Well, we can pardon our brother now. <laughs> our brother-in-law will not be pardoned, trust me, on this one. Because we absolutely need all the potential ways of keeping people in check that we can absolutely uh, get here. Right. Uh, I'm looking to eventually absorb Bavaria. We could attack Germany, but, well... We don't have all that many interesting claims, and they are quite strong. We have solid allies around us, but um, I think the most interesting one... Oh, we got a nice little legacy thing. Interesting one would actually be attacking uh, the Byzantines for our du jour lands, but it's still a little bit too little, you know? Um, sadly, there's nothing super good there. <sighs> I mean, we got all these duchies uh, that we could go for. But as you can see, it's, it's literally just a few bits and pieces there. So if we go for Seas du Jour all lands, um, we get a bunch of baronies. Uh, you know. It's, it's really not that much. It's probably the best thing that we could get. Could try and create some more, but that's not the jour. Our main issue, uh, it, what I'm trying to work toward, or kind of keeping an eye out anyway, I'm, I'm not necessarily wanting to do that, is unite the Slavs. And for that, we need to control Slavia. And as you can see, 
by the outline here, we need a good chunk. Uh, Bulgaria, basically, is what we need. And we absolutely do not have that right now. We need a bit of Bavaria, which isn't too bad. Everything else um, we hold. We need a chunk up of there. Uh, but Bulgaria, I think, is going to be the biggest problem. Now, there is no independence faction here, sadly. So all these tyranny claims, all that kind of stuff is going to resolve and it's not going to necessarily weaken the Byzantine Empire all that much. So we'll have to sit and wait. <laughs> Hybrid culture form. Okay, it's nice. Good for them. So right now, we got our next legacy to go for. And I'm wondering, what would our current uh, empress want to do? I think, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a little bit... Hmm. What is she? We might have to actually go check her there. Let's see. So she is quite learned. She's erudite. She's very learned. And I think she might go in that direction. So... What do we have here? Uh, chat says... More blood. <laughs> I mean, going more into the blood thing here is really kind of... You know, chance of inheriting bad congenital traits goes down. New bad congenital traits goes down. It's pretty good. But, again, I like to go with the RP action and option. And... Um, I don't know. I think... I should actually show chat there. Um... I think she would probably go here, go for a vibrant court, which I've, I'm still a bit weird because your addition, erudition, I think I'm erudition. Uh, I don't know. I think she would go this round, but the court isn't really her thing either. Then again, courtier and guest opinion, court grandeur bonus plus five. That's pretty good, actually. Better guests will be attracted. Guest recruitment cost. That that's. Uh, I mean, it sounds kind of weak, but it could be really good, you know. And we have gone a little bit with, you know, whoever was in charge got to make their pick, shaping the bloodline, shaping the dynasty, and I think uh, it makes some sense to go for more uh, erudite. Way. And I think she's into that. So let's go with this. It's not an optimized path at all. We would actually go somewhere else entirely, but that's okay. So we have unlocked Vibrant Court, which is the thing that we just clicked, as well as we wanted to. Let's keep on going a little bit, uh, save up some more money. It kind of looks like... What's happening here? What are these highlighted areas? So I think that's just stuff that she's losing in her fights, yeah. Just that they're up here. I was kind of wondering a little bit. Okay, so uh, what could we do to get a bigger chunk out of that? So the King of Bulgaria doesn't exist. We can't create that title. And there are no claim on for it because it's, it was never created, yeah. Um, the Kingdom of Serbia exists, so we could push their de jure claims, but um, that's not really, that's not really helping us much. So, hmm. how do we ever get to Bulgaria? We could, of course, go for duchies in there. Don't need the full thing. So if we just go for the duchy of Bulgaria, check the claim mounts here and there's one dude and another dude like this dude is a region for someone so probably not gonna happen but he's the son of this guy so also not gonna happen there are some girls here some women in that line but that doesn't matter as long as they're a man on, on the throne let's see provisional catastrophe okay so this guy has uh, plundered our cellar did we not just unlock a thing that gives us better guests? You better pay up. So he has a claim on the kingdom of Vladimir, which is already part of our kingdom. That doesn't really matter. Let's check our... You can declare war things. Maybe there's something interesting in there. Uh, we can declare war against this guy down there in the south, which... 
helps us almost not at all, except establish a new foothold for us, uh, which we would then potentially be able to expand. But... Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a big thing we would get there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, what kingdom would that? Okay, that's that's a cute little kingdom to go for. That's great. Uh, no, not worth it. Uh, we could attack the Finns for a few counties. Don't see that really as a as a thing. Volga Bulgaria. We could attack for singular. Oh well, okay. That's a duchy there, the duchy of Kazan. We don't really need it. Everything we want is kind of in the empire of uh, the Byzantines, right? The bishopric of Roma. This guy has a claim on that. We could just take Rome. <laughs> and only the bishopric. Not, not all of this, only the bishopric. Not sure why we would ever do that. Mordvinia. He has a whole one county claim. That's not interesting. Corsica. Okay. I mean, the whole kingdom of Corsica. We could go for. We would be fighting against Burgundy, which isn't too bad. We could just summon West Francia to take care of it. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see uh, the Byzantines fall into a little bit more chaos. Break apart a little bit. Not much that we can do. So we're just going to wait it out. See what happens. We have uh, nothing to lose at the moment in terms of time. Oh, we can ask for some claims. That's a bunch, bunch of Dutchies up there in in the north. Yes. Ah, uh, shush. I mean, that's a lot of piety. Excuse. Wait a moment. Having this much piety, does that mean we can reform? Does that mean we can create a new Christian faith? Do we have the piety to just do that? I mean, let's check it out. That's something she would do, I feel. We definitely have the time. Uh, okay, so we want an equal faith. The religious attitude is righteous. From evil infidels. Huh. I think we'll stay with Righteous, that's fine. Uh, do we have a theocratic thing? Temple holdings are leased out to the holders around priest who serves as theocratic vassals. Secular rulers directly control their own temple holdings and get all associated uh, benefits. So we could hold our own temples, which I don't necessarily see as a thing that we want to do. So, uh, the head of faith would be spiritual. We could go with none. Uh, fervor cannot go below 25%. Um, I would like to keep the Pope because the Pope has been a, you know, an important money person <laughs> in our lives. Uh, we can't really lose that piggy bank. Now, will we keep... The Pope, specifically, or will we ever have our own dude? If we if we just can change a little bit, um, pilgrimage is encouraged. We're not gonna we're not gonna make it mandatory. We'll just keep it at encouraged. Um, do we go for concubines? Can a female Empress have male concubines. Well, I don't think I ever tried that. 
And polygamies, okay, sure. Can help, can be interesting, can be good. Name is empty, adjective is empty, single follower is empty. Okay, we have to give it names and stuff, so nothing's gonna happen there. Just need to have enough piety. I think we'll go with concubines. Um, divorce, I think, is always allowed. For some piety. You know, she would, she would make some changes to the faith that are a little bit more... Uh, that are a little bit more in line with women's rights, you know? Bastards can never be legitimized. No bastards. There's no such thing as a bastard. All children are equally legitimate. Um, I mean, this is mainly... For, who would that benefit more? I think the women, right? Got to be a little bit careful because we're reaching our limits here. Consanguinity. Avunculate marriage. Marriage between cousins, aunts, nephews, and uncles is allowed. Um... Sexual relations between cousins, aunts, nephews, and uncles, nieces will not... Unrestricted is basically everyone can do anything. I suppose we'll leave it where it is. Same-sex uh, relations are accepted. We'll have to make some concessions elsewhere. Uh, deviancy is criminal. I'd say we'll go with shunned because men have been using this as a problem, as a thing, you know. Uh, definitely only shunned. Kinslaying. Close kin is criminal. Familiar is criminal. Dynastic is criminal. Well, we could go for shunned or accepted. Witchcraft. We'll leave that as criminal. Clerical function, control, recruitment. Ah, oh, that's fine. Uh, clerical gender can be either. Uh, clerical marriage. Disallowed. Clerical appointment, spiritual for life. Meaning the head of faith appoints, appoints all priests. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't care too much about that. Okay, let's see. What do we need to go back on? Um, I think the no bastards thing we can go down. We can back out of that. Divorce, we'd like to keep. Deviancy, we can keep criminal. Uh, clerical gender. Uh, that would be nicer. I don't want female adultery shunned. Uh, criminalized. You know. Let's see, where could we still save some? Can we reduce this here? Now, if we if we deviate away, we want... Uh, we'll have to pay more. There's probably no going down, basically. Monasticism. All that is fairly... Okay. I mean, these... The, the tenants are really what you might want to change, really. I think. But you know what? Uh, we can just save some more... We can just save some more of our piety. We might even go on another pilgrimage to uh, afford that, you know. Why not? Russian Catholic populists against us. Ah, yes, the, the good king. Are you not plotting against me in this faction? Is this not you? This is you. And you come to my court, asking me for what? Accepting you? How oh, dare you. Okay, time for another pilgrimage, I'd say. Uh, they are very, very costly, but um, yeah, they'll help. Where can we go? I think we went everywhere that's kind of closer. We could go to Jerusalem. 550 additional cost. <laughs> 
boy almighty. Um, but why not? I ask. So, in terms of danger, all this is no cost. We can reduce it by 45 gold. <laughs> Uh, we want a zealotry. A thousand gold. Is it is it worth it? To, I mean, f the church keeps buying this for us, so I think it's worth it. Let's go. She has been doing all those pilgrimages, and I think she'll keep going with it. Let's go with some zealotry there. She has nev there's never been anyone as pious as this ruler. I mean, there has been someone close, but not nearly as close as this. Oh, you want to make a weapon? Nah, go away. We have a great weapon. We'll never get a better weapon than this. Visit the Kremenica Mining Settlement. 200 lifestyle experience for stewardship. Alright. Ask for gold. Uh, he doesn't have the money, but soon he will, so let's keep an eye on his fi finances here. Let's see. Unfamiliar pilgrims. Only Catholics may uh, may take this journey. Go away. Becomes more pious. I don't want to convert. I don't want to come. have him come. No, 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 no. Go away. Let's see possible outcomes. He becomes our friend and converts, or he becomes our rival and doesn't. Fifty-six percent chance this goes well for us. Let's let's take that gamble, and it worked. We have uh, converted our friend here. That's great. So how much money do you need to have to give it to me? Oh, almost there. Almost there. Come on, my dear Pope. Ah, down again. Stop spending money. Look at his earnings, though. That's that's kind of crazy. The next month, he should have it. Nope. Goes down. He keeps spending. Like a fool. I need that coin, my dear Pope. What's going on here? More pious... Ah, it's basically the same thing, just with another dude. Okay, let's try. Let's see how many people we can convert here. Ah, oh, this one. God knew his wicked ways and wicked soul. He was not meant for us to save him. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So people are being swayed. Is he being swayed out of his faction? <laughs> Not just yet. But he might. I think around 50 or something. Uh, 50 opinion. Positive opinion being. Uh, they kind of go out of being so mad at you. So the Byzantines are doing what? Okay. What the heck? Alright. So there was a shift. Uh, this guy was disposed. I think. And... Now the little baby boy is on the throne, and he is winning certain bits, but losing certain other bits. Travel rare trinkets. Okay, you want to sell me a bejeweled Quran for 450 gold. We could try and steal it. Um, no. I'm here on a pilgrimage. I'm not... Julian, our brother and acclaimed knight. What's happening? Sergius crown. Which is on our head. Is it? Are we wearing that thing? I mean, still, go. Save it. He might die. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he drowned. Uh, whoops. That wasn't ideal. Let's see. We lose the trade ill. 
And uh, closer to... No, not we. This guy is gonna... Not be ill anymore. We'll take that. I think we can cure him. Very good. Our patriarch is no longer ill. We saved him. Look at that. Got a little bit stressed due to our brother dying to fetch the crown. That we're not even wearing. That we can't even sell or anything. Uh. Okay. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. No other city in the world has history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the many other holy sites there, the city contains a church of the Holy Sepulchre. Built over the combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried and resurrected. Standing outside of the Temple Mount with my hand on the western wall, I find myself reflecting on everything that happened on my journey to this city of legend. Very good. More pilgrim lifestyle experience, which doesn't really matter because we're kind of full up there. Uh, do we already have the scholar perk? Yes. So next is a choice in what we're going to do. I think while whole of body is very, very, very attractive to take uh, as it is, uh, you know, helps you with life, uh, keeps you alive, honestly. I think she's more, she, she goes into the theologian round. She's faithful. She will reform her faith. It's the greatest gift she will give to Carpathia. Um, ah, just show me to my rooms. I'm passing through Volodymyr, the capital of my vassal king. Well, I am really not, but okay. <laughs> the game is sometimes a little bit of a trouble to keep up. Consistent days, you know. Just doesn't always make sense what's going on there. We don't necessarily need the clergy opinion anymore, but it's it's a good thing. Wait, where's faithful here? There. Plus ten, I can see it. May I interest you in? What do you want? We get exotic wares that can be sold back home. Okay. Um, remarkably exotic goods that we can sell at home. I mean, we'll try. Or we go with more pyres. We're not even at level 1 pyres. So, I think... Do we want money or do we want piety? Piety. Where are the possessions so mundane? We're not here for that. We are here. It's funny. If I scroll the map with uh, middle mouse button hold, held down, it's perfectly fine. If I scroll with WASD, it laggy as heck on certain zoom levels. Not sure why. Catholic Egypt still exists. And I think, yep, they're still holding Jerusalem. We helped to make that. More pious. The Magnificent Spear. Durability increases by 10. And extra... Piety. Which we already have on there. So we'll just take it again. Question is, does it stack? Or does it replace yet another trait? Ah. Uh, huh? Okay, we're going back home. Didn't reach very far, but 750 piety, that helps us with our reformation plans. What spear was that? I'm confused. I thought it was my spear. Oh, no, 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 it's the magnificent spear. It's the, it's the courtroom one. That's where it is. Courtroom artifacts. Let's check. So this thing here... It stacks, actually. So it was plus 2% piety. Now it's plus 4% piety. It was pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I mean, I already took it, but I take it again. You know? Alright. What do we have here? Floor de fair. Okay. 
We find some forage in the sea. Nature will provide of, uh, for us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, it's the ocean. There are fish. I'd wager. I'm quite sure there are fish. Even in this bit of the ocean. Travel a derelict ship. Oh, let's investigate this. We found nothing. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. I think I know a cure. Let's help. Are you sick again? Oh, that's my husband this time. They all kind of look alike in their sick clothes. Is this guy a drunk? Yep. Drunkard and rakish. Oh, he's amazing. Perfectly fit as a husband to a pious woman like this empress. We need to somehow raise makeshift sails. I mean, yeah, we're going to do that. 99% chance of it going well and losing us all our stress. I'll take that. Take that for sure. I like the sea events. They're kind of extra because you don't go travel across the sea all that much. And you need to save him. Let's save our... Yeah, okay. Very cool. So we saved our patriarch who is now also a friend. Good work. Let's see about our suede people. Okay, so this guy is not leaving that faction. No way, no how, no sir. Byzantines are... Well, they might lose a little bit of Syria. Okay. Drosuk pays 450 to us if we win this. And we are definitely going to win this. And we get the lucky paw, so... Bunch of money right into our pocket. Thank you for that little opportunity there. And you are a poor man. A poor, poor man. You're supposed to be rich to give me money. Um, the Bulgarian woman. Truly, Bulgarian women are cut above all the rest. One particular fascinating specimen has taken my eye late. Peasant woman in the name of Buyana. Pretty little treasure. She is far too pleasing to my artists. Spend her days slaving away in Kratovo. Um, should we have her as our lover? Yes, we shall. Let's come with us. And we will make sure that it is legal in our new religion. So 61, he's still not dropping out of that uh, faction. Okay. Let's check uh, our integration efforts are working, are still ongoing. Good. Once we're back from our pilgrimage, we're going to go and con diverge our, our religion a little bit. Or we'll reform Catholicism. Our niece, uh, yeah, be great, I think. Let's make you intrigant. Uh, an internal alliance, maybe. King of Permia. Anyone going matrilineal as well? Duchy of Moravia. Doesn't help us. Who's my heir? This guy. Prince Ladomir. Okay, we can we can just go with the Do we go with an inside alliance? I'd say I tried to get the Valachs to play ball. So now we'll seal it with an alliance. Very good. Another inspiration, or is that the same one? Oh, it's the same one. I can't dismiss this. Um, oh, you know what? We're gonna sponsor it. What have we got to lose? A little bit of gold. Y you never know what they come up with. A good little omen from a quacking duck. Always good. Mm 
Right, okay. What else do we have? Nature will provide for us. 1% chance we die. I love those clicks. They are all very... They are very, very exciting. They are very, very, very exciting. I never quite know uh, if that is uh, safe or not safe. So let's see. Uh, okay, chat. Anyone still there in chat? I think so. Uh, should we should we click this? Take the one percent chance. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm seeing some thumbs up there. Uh, nature will provide. Oh, lifestyle learning. Noise, noise, noise. Convert faith in county progress speed plus twenty five percent, which we might Im might be important. Uh, now that we will form our own faith. And chat, again, had the best idea. So that's very good. Um, Brussels Slovians are, are fine. Are great. So we set out with, I think, 2,000 gold or something. We're coming back with less. <laughs> but not so less. So that's kind of good. That guy still has not got the money. And can we hold court again? Oh, we're not even full up. And we're still at 100. Our baseline is 100, despite not being... F what, what is our true baseline? Oh god, I can't count. Hmm. <laughs> so we... Could go down here. Spend less money. And still be where we need to be. Color me intrigued. I mean, I like all these, you know. But the prestige, like, I don't... That's not so important to me. Let's do that. We still have our... I mean, there's less of a buffer for us. So if things go wrong, things go wrong, right? But... I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've returned and we have our own designs on what things should look like. Let's get rid of that poor here for 40 gold. And let's go back to reforming our religion. And... Create new Christian faith. Yes. So gender equal. What did we what did we go away from? Concubines. We go with concubines. Very good. Everything else we're gonna keep as it is. So let's check this here. Monasticism. Temperate is a virtue. And courtiers can become monks, which is good to clean up the line of succession. Um characters can seek indulgences. Characters can commit criminal acts can excommunicate which one is the one where we can ask for money <laughs> because I don't want to lose that one um, head of faith which one allows us to ask for money Definitely want to go with either here. Ah, yeah, this one. So, Head of Faith can grant gold to pious adherents. All right, so this this is one we want to definitely keep. So, let's see. Uh, armed pilgrimages, cost of rulers of this faith, 20 less percent party to declare holy wars. If one exists, the Head of Faith can declare a great holy war when the faith has high fervor. If no head of faith exists, it turns... So, I mean, we can keep this one. Communion. I don't know. Let's see what other options we got there. We don't have all that much to spend, but... Uh, cost down for everything. Asceticism. Meditate as a, as a choice. Temperate as a virtue. 
And gluttonous, greedy, eager, reveler is all bad. Astrology. Naval speed plus 25%. I mean, that's kind of crazy for all Catholics. Uh, carnal exaltation makes lustful a virtue. Fertility 25%. Same faith opinion plus 10. Conversion speed in counties of my culture plus 50%. There aren't a lot of those, so... Promotes culture speed in counties of my faith plus 50%. Endura, short rain duration, minus 50%. That's pretty big. Incapable on your death. Doing so does not incur any of the normal penalties from suicide. That's pretty cool. Chthonic red redoubts. Makes giant a virtue. Convert faith in county speed in mountainous terrain plus 50%. Hostile, convert, faith in county speed, mountain street, okay. All Catholics. It's just better in mountains, which kind of would fit, but nah. Eastern syncretism. Uh, considers Eastern faith and is considered by Eastern faith to be astray instead of evil. That opens a lot of doors. That opens a lot of doors. Esotericism. Mm -hmm. So Eastern syncretism, I, I think, is pretty interesting. Someone who's learned would be kind of open-minded, wouldn't they? So this one, I think, is uh, quite attractive. Um, sanction false conversions. Conversions resistance plus 30%. Okay. Sacred murder. Okay, that's that's new from the new DLC, I think. Unlocks the Masked Assassin court position. A party loss for killing characters of a different faith through the murder schemes. Yeah. All Catholics, extra prowess. Piety per dread. <laughs> Gnosticism. Considers Gnostic and dualist faiths to be righteous instead of hostile or evil. Ah... Uh, Islamic syncretism, I think, is more important because we're actually quite close to Islam. Most everywhere. Uh, can use Islamic artifacts at full benefit. I don't know exactly what that means. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There are artifacts that you can only use if you have a certain faith. Legalism. Reduce law costs by minus 10%. Increase law costs by 10% for each sin. Okay. Vassals and court counties are less likely to join factions against virtuous ruler. Are more likely to okay against a sinful ruler. Well, okay, that's pretty that's pretty gnarly. Okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Might be. Let's see. Literalism. That sounds kind of good. That sounds kind of what you might be into. May debate other lords of the realm at the cost of opinion to gain or lose piety. Uh, astute intellectual, mastermind philosopher. All these are virtues then all of a sudden. It's pretty cool. Megalithic structure. Enables the construction of megaliths and temple holdings. Okay. Mendicant preachers. Okay. County conversion speed plus 33. This I find very interesting. Characters of the faith gain an additional bonus upon the success successful completion of a pilgrimage. Okay. That would fit her. That would fit her. The Pentor key. Characters of this faith gain an additional bonus upon the successful completion. Extra fervor per holy site held. Okay. So we learned that fervor is important. Insofar that a high fervor allows to basically go to great holy wars. Waging great holy wars and successful holy wars will decrease fervor. Being the target will increase fervor. Outbreaks of heresy will increase fervor significantly. Okay. Pursuit of power. Rulers have a conquest castle spell against neighboring rulers. Prestigious rulers can use an invasion castle spell once per lifetime. 
Ambitious, disloyal are virtues. Content and loyal are sins. Uh, that's great, but it doesn't fit her. Religious law. Rulers with high learning may condemn their sinful vassals. The more sinful a vassal, the less learning the ruler needs. Condemned vassals are seen as criminals and may have their titles revoked. <laughs> um, okay, right. New faiths keep their old head of faith on creation. Christian faith with... Oh, uh, you... Ecumenism. Keep it on creation. Considers other faiths that share the head of faith to be astray. Opinion of the same faith plus five. Head of faith opinion minus ten. Uh, faith creation and reformation cost minus... That's pretty darn cool. We haven't really needed monasticism in a while though. Let's be honest. We haven't really needed that in a good long while. I think we'll 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 change out monasticism as well. Let's see. Ritual cannibalism. Nope. <laughs> Not even gonna go there. Mothers are less likely to child in die in childbirth. Children are less likely to be sickly or stillborn. Mothers and fathers gain piety when the child is born. Make pregnancy a virtue. All Catholics plus ten percent fertility. Sacred lies. Sanctity of nature. Syncretic folk traditions. I mean these are also cool. Vows of poverty, unrelating faith. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mm, considers unreformed? Nah. Building construction cost plus 10, but attrition, advantage, jungle, forest, tiger? Nah. I think as a woman she would go for sacred childbirth. Wouldn't she? Okay, um, let's get some names here. Faith icon. So it's definitely still Catholic. Why don't I see a regular normal cross? <laughs> Maybe we go with uh, the Ichthyos. Ichthys, the fish. I think that's fine. Is there something with mountains? Do I see something with mountains? I mean, this is the most mountainy I can see. Or we just go with the sacred goat. <laughs> um, I will go with the dove. Or the lamb. Oh, yeah. Let's go with the lamb. I like that. Uh, so, we're not Catholic, we are, the, the servants of the lamb, servant of the lamb. Servants of the Lamb. And I'm not quite sure what an adjective is. I always have to look that up because I never understood these weird grammatical terms. So let's learn together, right? At the at the tender old age of almost 40. Um, something that describes the thing. Great. Thank you. I love these terms. Happy is a predicative... Adjective. Okay. Great. Big, boring, purple, and obvious. La. All adjective. So uh, let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to quit out of this uh, menu again. Like we could. Like. Catholic adjective. Let's see. Let's see what, what that says. Uh, I think it's just Catholic, right? So we go with servant. We just leave it open. I don't think we need it, do we? I mean, <laughs> we need it. 
Uh, servant of the lamb. We'll just go with that. I don't. I don't know. It it might go wrong. It might go weird. Um, shall I go with something yellowish, something golden, golden yellow, like so. And we're done. Virtues is being pregnant, forgiving, compassionate, and chaste. Why is chaste a virtue? Where do we get chaste as a virtue? Uh... Where do we get chased as a virtue? Where did that come from? Maybe from this? Don't really say. Deviancy? Just criminal? Could go for shunned. We still have some money to spend here. Uh, female adultery is accepted. Adultery is just fine with us. You know? No, I think we'll keep it at Shun. She she is still Catholic at heart. Uh, let's make it... Kinslayers with the dynasty Kinslayer trade awards are criminals. The eyes of the dynasty. Could make it shunned. So people can start killing each other a little bit more. Hmm... Main doctrines. Equal here is fine. Pilgrimage is fine. Counties of other faith are less likely to join factions, reduce danger from heresies when... Okay. Winning a holy war will vassalize infidel rulers in the target area instead of seizing the land. Ah, uh, that's all fine with me. Opinion of the same faith. Head of faith, minus 10. That's a big thing. But the 25% uh, reduction is pretty big. Can we get something better than armed pilgrimages? Though she's kind of into that stuff, so... I think we'll keep that. Mm. Clerical appointment. There's another big one. Temporal for life. Rulers appoint their own realm priest or court chaplain. Temporal revocable, of, of course, is the most expensive one. For life. Okay. I think we'll keep it at this. Clerical med marriage. We can allow that. Our clerics can, can go and, and marry. I don't mind that. Definitely keep it at control. I want the money. <laughs> She is doing so much, so, so much for the Catholic faith. Okay, let's let's get poor in terms of piety again. Create that faith. Click. Create servants of the lamb. The beliefs of servants of the lamb can never be changed once it has been created. <laughs> never? Okay. So now we have to convert everyone. We have a new patriarch. And Catholicism suddenly is a little bit smaller in the world. Uh, but he's still our head of faith. He just... <sighs> Servants of the Lamb is astray. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't like that we're gout ridden. <laughs> okay, we don't have the piety to ask him and he doesn't have the money and he's not going to accept either because he's not happy with us now. So, next thing for us is we got... Oh, God. Why do we, why do we have a <laughs> zero learning dude here? Oh, God, no. Um... 
Oh, God, he's not going to do well, is he? Oh, he's going to do terrible. Okay, we'll just throw him somewhere. Uh, we'll just throw him somewhere. Uh... Can we demand conversion? Somewhere. Or are they already converted? Let's see, what are you? Can I see that? Yeah, there. Servant of the Lamb. Servant of the Lamb. Servant of the Lamb. Servant of the Lamb. Okay, let's check all of our vassals. See who might not be a Servant of the Lamb. You are not. Demand conversion. 41% chance he will. He might still be Catholic in secret. Okay, that was him, right? Yeah. Servant of the Lamb. Servant of the Lamb. More Servant of the Lamb. So they are definitely gonna convert their own counties and duchies and everything. So we don't need to worry about converting absolutely everything under our control. Just checking, we can see here with the icon. Servant of the Lamb, Servant of the Lamb, Servant of the Lamb, Servant of the Lamb. Very good. Now let's go ahead. Where is our lover? Um, How do I take you as my concubine now? E. Convert, become a Servant of the Lamb. Concubines. Can I only have men? Can I only have men as my concubines? I can't have women? Wait a moment. Same sex relationships are fully accepted. Why can't I have a female concubine? Huh? Is there a filter here? No. Okay. Full? Doesn't matter. Two defaults? No. Ha! Huh. Sexuality. Doesn't matter. Gender. Female. No? But I wanted her. Man. That's sad. Definitely our husband should convert. Let's check our children. Servant of the Lamb, as well you should be. Servant of the Lamb. Let's check the rest of the family. Too far away. Too far away. Too far away. God, where did they all go? I don't really know. A ways where they went. Demand. Convert. Okay. Alright. The servants of the Lamb Schism. The Catholic clergy has lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. To remedy this, I have gathered a select group of priests together to discuss the future of our faith. Impassionated priests. Ah, no, impassioned priests are already talking about launching crusades to spread their new faith across the world, and many ancient superstitions and mythical stories have been canonized in the official doctrine. The servants of the Lamb priests have chosen to keep Anastasius as their pope. She will continue to determine religious doctrine. <laughs> I mean, maybe. They will continue to keep uh, the doctrine and arbitrate interfaith disputes for the entire servants of the Lamb world. The world will see that God favors us. Okay, a lot of agreeing to conversion, including this guy. Praise be to him who be in heaven. Yes, we have too few concubines. 
Yes, my warriors will be ready to fight. Let's go for the Kingdom of Navarre. Hey, Fusion Warrior. Welcome. So nice you're here. <laughs> the Lamb Priest should be called Lamb Chops. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. Agreed. Um, so we need, we need concubines now. Apparently. And I'm very sad. I'm very sad. Let's, uh, let's take our former priest here. Uh, let's take our our uh, our patriarch, our current guy. I mean, she's into the learned dudes, right? That's her thing. She's learned, so obviously that kind of works her way. And then we're gonna go with the knight as well. So why not? Still, kind of makes me sad a little bit. But then again, she doesn't have a lot of children, so it might help. You know, shared prayer. Ah, da -da -da -da. Holding of Lyshin. I don't care, that's not mine. We could take the gold. No, build build your temples. How are we doing, Fusion Warrior? How are things today? No beneficiary. Okay, we need a beneficiary for the crusade. Oh, I love that little icon down there now. Uh who will it be? Who will it be? Radoslav, Slavena, she's very young, she's a little bit ugly, but she's a genius, she deserves it, go with that. The weekly archipelago seed, alright, what's, what's that, tell me more about that. Okay, uh, yeah, a name for our, our thing. To my beloved Buyana. There's no need for a dedication. Our beloved Buyana knows that she is beloved indeed. My dude. Money? <laughs> he doesn't have it and he wouldn't give it either. Should we donate gold for some piety? <laughs> okay, no, we, uh, sorry. Sorry, I thought this would go different. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did it? Did it? Where did that music come from? Um. Okay. Raiding in Twitch. I have no idea how that works. I've seen I've seen it happen not to me, but I've seen it other like how do I how how would I initiate that? Can I initiate that if I'm not an affiliate? It's a randomizer that takes a bunch of normally incompatible games. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, you talked about that. You talked about that. Very cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. I'll try that. I have no idea where to go, but <laughs> um, we'll try that. Thanks. It's a very cool suggestion. Okay. Um. So we're earning good money because I learned that we have a pretty good baseline here. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, the one streamer I personally really like is uh, Beastie Cutie. Uh, he's a rank 1 AoE 4 player. I, I watch his stuff. He's the only one I'm subscribed to, I think. So, um, that one, but I don't know how compatible the viewership is on, on these. But sure, if, if you'd like to make some suggestions. We're gonna be live today, I think, for another... Ah, two or three hours. <laughs> Depending if my voice can keep up, my god. But we're here for a little longer today. We'll check it out. We'll see where things go. Well, they're definitely going to Navarre. Why is there Navarre anyway? Is, is there a problem here? I don't see a problem. Where even is Navarre? I think Navarre is, is something in Spain, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it's there.
Nice. Very right, cool. We'll check them out then. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's very cute. Um, right, okay. So... What's this? Ah, uh, we're swaying. I mean, I'm perfectly fine. No worries. Just, just... We're here to chat. We're here to have a good time. Crusader Kings is a good time in itself, but I don't mind having a little bit of a discussion and a chat here and there for other things. It's fine. Uh, yo, you handle that. I, I couldn't give. Only superior god. Of course. The Byzantines need to break. It needs to break apart already. They have been not apart for far too long. Maybe can Oh, nah, darn. Uh, thank you. Truly heartfelt stuff. So, this guy has an unpressed claim, but he is landed, so we can't invite him to fight for this. And there's... I mean, there's this guy who has a pressed claim, but he won't come to court. There's no one cool we can invite to court here. That will help us expand our lands in the Byzantine Empire. Doesn't matter. We're going on, the, on a crusade soon. And I think... Where should we launch from? Italy. My intentions are pure, I assure you. This feels wrong. These are divine beings not meant for mortal eyes to see. Well, we'll take that. 97% chance of just learning experience. We'll take that. Like, look at her. Look at that. 45 learning. She knows things. King Petros becomes a aspiring blade master. Very good. Um, are you trying to pawn your children off of me? On, off on me again? Is he at least good? Oh god, why are they always terrible? <laughs> nah, I, I must say, in Crusader Kings, that's not that bad. The The success chances are actually pretty darn good. So, if it's above 90, generally that works. Unless it's a murder plot, and if it's, it's me. If, if it's a murder plot and it's me, then it's still gonna fail. But everything else, it's perfectly fine. Can I afford to upset this guy? Listen. 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 We'll find him another position in court, huh? Fine. Just, I don't know. Do something. A grandson. Oh, look at that. Robust and intelligent. He needs to be a warrior for sure. And we need you to get someone good here. What's that? Duchy of Piedmont. Meaning, there will be inheritance. Meaning, more lands for us eventually. Hungary. Oh, we can't. We can start from here even, <laughs> if we want to. Uh, reckless relation. How dare you try and extort me? Family troubles for 10 years. Oh. What's going on here? It's a money matter, he sighs. Look at this guy. Drunkard, rakish, and only given us two children. Uh, leave it to me, I'll take care of it. The crusade will pay for itself, won't it? Speaking of which, shall we? Oh, that's not gonna look good. Especially if I don't arrive with the whole army. Which I'm not really planning to do. 
Okay, what claim do you have that I need to press? The Duchy of Skarn. Buy, travel well, enjoy. Ah, yes, the Duke. Please, come in. Thanks so much. Could redirect it to neighbor. Can I, though? Or is there even anyone I would like to re uh, redirect it toward? Kingdom of Lyon. Kingdom of Crete. Kingdom of Galicia. Uh... I mean, we don't really have neighbors like that. Kingdom of Caucasus. Persian Empire. Oh boy, the Persian Empire is blobbing. Slightly. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll take the hit. If we sail from or walk from Italy, you know, it's not going to be that bad. An axe of masterful craftsmanship. Oh, actually, actually decent. Not bad. Thanks. That was a cheap one, honestly. Not really something that helps us much, but then again, ah, no, number of knights plus two. That that is, you, nah, you can't pay for that. Worth its money in gold. But now we have this. We could give it to our son or something. Wait, we have a we have a concubine slot open here. Uh, we don't have an alliance with Burgundy, but we do have an alliance with West Francia. So, plus, I think if they join the, um, if they join, that should be fine. And I'm definitely not gonna start early. Uh, I have no, I have no. <laughs> Let's take our acclaimed knight here as our concubine to have some more. Yeah, but I don't know. I think as long as they're Christian lands, it doesn't even matter. Like, as long as you're not hostile, as long as you're not at war, you can station even without an alliance for, uh, for supplies. I think. I'm not quite sure, but we could find out. So let's say we start, because... Gathering the troops will take some time, right? So let's move uh, this banner. No, we're going to move the golden banner. So let's say we move our banner here. We start raising everyone, which will cost... Let's, let's just get the local army. And if they're not being supplied, then we can see it there. That's what I'm thinking. So we can test this. So we're not at war with them. We're not... Oh, cool. Someone's trying to kill us. No wonder. I mean, we've made it legal or less bad <laughs> to kill people. Why is the local army also all my men-at-arms? That's not what I asked for. Why am I getting that? <laughs> so we're not going to be supply locked here. That's fine. Uh... I don't think that's going down. Yeah, doesn't matter. Same faith. Not at war, non hostile. Oh, good. Ah, oh, we're pregnant. Lovely. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I always forget. Let's go into the heartland here. That's very true. You might get supplies just from being on the border here. I don't think so, but we'll see. The Vlachs are good people. Yes, they sure are. How much longer? 31 days. I think it's time to raise all. Let's get poor. <laughs> Let's go poor. Someone becomes our best friend. Uh Quarrel in Carpathia, no. No, thank you. Um, thank you. That's great, but no thanks. 
that thing will be immediately destroyed because we're gonna need that gold in a moment. <laughs> I'm the worst person to receive gifts, so just immediately destroy. Wait, organize that army, please. Like, we can't afford a war like that long. But, as you can see, supply is not budging. We're fine. I mean, we're fine on supply. We're not fine with everything else. We're losing money hand over fist. But we will be the absolute first ones in the Holy Land. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, everyone walk this way, please. <laughs> Don't ruin me by jumping on ships now. My lord. So again, I think it, it's basically... Uh, you need to have enough supply to supply. Makes sense. Convert faith in county. The time it takes is no longer increased if the faith has high. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We're we're looking to convert to the lamb. Speaking of which, um, okay, this guy is still converting. I'm not quite sure where. I just clicked somewhere on the map, which wasn't our color. <laughs> but it's kind of covered here. You can see everything is kind of striped, so everyone is going to convert now. Slowly but surely. Can we ask the Pope for money? I don't think so. I mean, we're going to lose troops there anyway. So then it won't be that expensive. But at least we're in here from the start. I'm also always confused because the Crusade gives you two war banners down here. But it's the same thing. It's not two different wars that you're suddenly in. God almighty, help us. We could reduce our court grand, yeah? For the time of the war. Actually, can we go further down? Our baseline is 95. And this here is 90. No, I think we have to keep it there. We can't go further down. Let's speed the walking of our armies up a little bit. And we'll send these guys in there right away. Okay, we are personally commanding an army. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can a woman become a crusader? <laughs> Look at him. Uh, don't station in Toulouse. Okay, what, what, what happens in Toulouse? A good servant of the Lamb name. Jakub, Josef, Samuel, Gregory, Magnus. Our oh, son, Magnus. Oh, look at him. It's fantastic. Another warrior. We'll check the spouse thing later. Okay, uh, do we turn straight around? Because the enemy is kind of coming there. Oh god. Oh boy. That's not gonna go well for us, is it? Nope. We are completely crushed. Instantaneously, because the 15,000 Crusaders just kind of walked on. I mean, this lowers our cost, is how I see it. And we gain the trade Crusader. Woman can be Crusader. Oh, to lose and to win. My god. Ah! That was really good. Trust me, that was a really, really funny thing. But I am just... I am just slow as heck with these things. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, okay, very cool. So she is now a crusader too. That's that's fantastic. Nope. Pope can't say nothing about that. Uh, what's our contribution? 
Our contribution has only been losing so far, but we have cost the crusade 50% of the success chance, but we were there. No one else was. Ah, oh, no. I, d I lost the trade crusader because I joined the armies. I didn't want to lose that trade. I, I hate that. Okay, now we have dangerous factions, of course, because we are so weak. Uh, and we have all those peasants here, sitting there. Y yeah, it's hysterically accurate, but I only lost it because I joined my armies. And I was automatically removed and no longer the commander. So, that kinda is not great. Had I not joined my armies, I wouldn't have lost it, you know? <laughs> Whoops. Did we lose? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. I wasn't there. <laughs> All right, next next chance to become Crusader. We just lost seven hundred gold for nothing. Uh, where do we go this time? Doesn't say, does it? Ah, Malikate of Al Andalus. All right, sure. Another faction has been created against us. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, who who will be our beneficiary? Her again. I'm not gonna suddenly have a new beneficiary. Let's check those factions. Come on now. What is this? What do you want? Why are you like this? Let's have a marriage, huh? My granddaughter, matrilineally to something of yours. County, now who cares? Why does that not give us an alliance here? Because that's not of the same house. That's his house, isn't it? Yeah, sure, great, okay. So getting an alliance with her is basically impossible. Because none of her children are of her bloodline good stuff. Ah... Uh, Great. Good stuff. Do you have something? For granddaughter? With an alliance? No. Do you have something with an alliance? No. Great stuff. Ah, good god. Ha <sighs> Ah, we're gonna lose so hard again. But I appreciate them trying, you know. Impressive. He learned our language. Thanks. Maybe we shouldn't be the first, so we don't immediately lose it again for everyone. <laughs> I mean, they fought well. Our knights didn't lose a single one and they killed a thousand people. That's kind of crazy. And the Mangonels killed nothing. I don't believe that. That sounds like a lie. Oh my god, they have crossbowmen and everything. We are so inferior to these guys. Uh, okay, we have fully swayed that dude. Lovely. Hold court. We'll hold court. Let's get going here. Um... There's no proof. I don't care about adultery. We made that kind of acceptable. It's only shunned. You remember an incredible similar book uh, event in a book? Test the mothers. Yeah. Sure. Let's go for that. And weapons ban in cities for 50 years. I kind of like that one. So we'll just go with that. My business here is done. And we're going to see... What's next for us? Beside the... You know... That thing down there.
Okay, let's let's start finding secrets here. This is not the first time this came up, and this man is rakish after all. Um, a story about what? Uh, my own story, of course. Tell about me. And now we're gonna get this guy as our concubine because that's the last person we have as our concubine. The Duchy of Burgundy is a claim. All right. Okay. Don't care. The Duke, yes, please come in. We need to refill our little war chest there. I don't even know if I can afford another crusade unless you give me money. Why do you hate us so much? Duchy of Romanga. It's not even mine. I don't like that they have a bad opinion of you because something is within your realm that isn't even yours. Like, you don't personally hold it, but they still kind of hate you for it, you know? Could grant him Italy as a vassal. That would make him happy. Uh, we'll go with this because I don't care too much. I don't want to learn a language. Though we're not swaying anyone either. Uh, this guy should probably like us a little bit better. So let's go sway him. And... One of these guys should also like us a little better. So let's start with him. Let's just sway our court. Our direct counselors and courtiers should like us a little bit better than they do. Oh, Germany has broken apart up here in the in the north again. Oh, another learning perk. Profit, monthly piety per night plus 1%. Faith creation and reformation cost minus 50%. If only we have had that before. If only we have... Well, I mean, we got everything we wanted out of the Servant of the Lamb. So, that's fine. How's conversion going, anyway? These level orthodox spots there are very unfortunate. So what, what task was finished? Find secrets tasks. Okay. Oh, I... Yeah, I, sat, I accidentally dismiss, dismissed all them secrets that we got. What secrets do we have? That dude is a witch. She has a lover. They have lovers. I don't care about them. Can you make me a witch too? Let's see. What options do we get with blackmail? The... the doesn't really give us anything or it doesn't say what what it gives us oh god i really don't like the intrigue thing no we're not finding it out no 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 more holy orders for us i think we have one yes we are known for our dedication to our faith finally we are religious icon as well we should have been the whole time oh uh oops the crusade has begun <laughs> Uh, we're going here, aren't we? Let's try this again, shall we? Are the holy orders all in? That I wonder. That I wonder. Oh. Okay. I think the Holy Orders got well and truly crushed here. Another lover secret. Let's be poor. For a little while more. And this time we're going to put our army together and move it as one. And then we'll march down straight here. How much does that cost? 312 gold. Are you guys joking? You take the bus. We are not paying for your flights. You guys can walk. It's good for you. Uh, speaking of which, it's good for us too. We'll personally lead this. 
Maybe we can become a crusader again. We are exalted among men. Uh, a child heritage. An exist. Okay, murder scheme. All right. Hey, secret was exposed. I don't care. And we're going to arrive too late to the Holy Land. The first crusaders are already falling to the enemy's swords. Ah, yes, a new fascination. What have we discovered? Windmills. Were we working on this? Urbanization is being influenced. Eight years. We'll keep about that. Uh, let me. This is still bugged as heck. Can't we go here yet? Is it not 1200 AD? All right, fine. Do we go for gills, additional building slots? Actually, didn't we unlock one of those already? Was that not the mills just now? Can we build another thing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Hello. I kind of want walls and towers because having our, um, our capital be at fort level 9 is kind of embarrassing. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. So windmills obviously would be better. Money, holding taxes, development growth. I mean, we're working on another building slot. So we could get walls and towers and the rest I don't really care about much. Heavy infantry would be cool because we do have heavy infantry stationed here. But... I'm a growth person. And she is learned, so she would go for, for growth more than defense. But look at our puny little castle here. It's so sad. It's just so sad. I I I'll take that as a as a vote for windmills. Uh, Yeah, I think we'll take the windmills. We all know I want to take the windmills. So the windmills it will be. <laughs> yeah, money is... Money doesn't just stack in this game. Money stacks everywhere. Okay. Uh, so far, we have lost every single engagement. The Crusaders have. And we are parking in a place that isn't even contested. Look at us go. And look at the enemy go as well. I don't think there is much of a chance for us in this. Let's go there. No one's there except for us. So if we go there, maybe they leave us alone. Oh, the papacy is sending a thousand men. Can you imagine? We're gonna get slapped so hard here. Another grandson. Good stuff. A little strong, robust sinker. So, more warriors in our clan. Uh, don't care to marry them yet. <laughs> I mean... There's more crusaders coming, right? Ah, we're, we're attacking a castle that we are not going to be able to take. <laughs> we need to very urgently replace the mangonels with trebuchets. We are so last century with what we got here. And now we're starving hard. Good stuff. I think we'll join that fight, just to know. Ah, uh, just so our troops kind of can die a glorious death, you know. Okay, betrothed can marry. 
Excellent. And we're crushed again. To no one's great surprise, especially not mine. <laughs> oh no, our mother died. That's sad. Alright, and uh, we're also heavily under supplied, so let's split that so they don't starve as well. No need to make it worse. Uh, let's check our factions again. Because these are, of course, still a problem. And Valachia, we are no longer allied to because things change over time. Can we get something going here with a granddaughter? Nope. With our son? Nope. Okay. Ah, yeah. That was the one where, where we can't do anything. Can we do something here? Granddaughter? Nope. Nothing to be done here. Son? Nope. Absolutely fantastic. We don't even have any sort of anything on them. You know? A sad state of affairs. Very, very sad state of affairs. Oh, God. Crusaders are going to get crushed a little bit. And why are we not resupplying? Ah. These are not friendly lands, actually. That's the problem. We are just standing there starving. Good, good on us. Good on us. He's finding all sorts of secrets. Nothing that helps us, of course, but... Well, at least the crusade is done in a moment. What is our contribution? <laughs> oh, God. Will we go for another one is the question. Oh, man. With who can we exchange hostages? No one important. But we got a dangerous faction now. Oh, we got several dangerous factions. Of course. She has managed so far. We're absolutely coming. Listen. These crusades have been have been great. They have been great experiences. I think we are all happy to come again. And to try again. Uh yes. Uh, the Pope Patrick, indeed, and also uh, the the Pope uh, helps us with our little faction problem there. <laughs> it's just kind of going away immediately, uh, which which I absolutely appreciate there. So, th thanks for that. <laughs> All the secrets we're learning, and none of them help us with our factions. Not a single one. God. It's the worst mechanic in the game. Intrigue. It really is. Let's see. Can we kill someone here? The Valachian woman? Ah, uh, we'll try. Religious relations efficiency plus 20%. Let's go. We adjust so it stresses us out to try and kill someone. Ah, oh, well. That guy is uncovering secrets like nobody's business. Yeah, I don't know. If you could investigate specific people, I, you can, sort of, but... Uh, truly heartfelt stuff. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I definitely can't afford to go into another crusade. I think we're just going to send one single army. Some locals. And let them die in the field, you know, just so we can say, yeah, we went. We were there. 
And I'm still not a crusader, and I don't think I'm gonna ever ever gonna get that back again. Which makes me sad. Because she was there twice. Alright, okay, our our scheme was exposed and she's like, what the hell? Why? Yeah, I know you can you can try and kill them as commanders in your armies, but that doesn't work too well. Like, commanders don't die that much anymore. But we'll definitely try. <laughs> we'll definitely try to get rid of one of them like uh, that. We're done with swaying everyone, so let's sway all these fools here. Because everyone we're swaying already has 100% now. Or 100 opinion, rather. And let's sway this fool as well. Weaken both factions at once. If he has been unfaithful, we'll, we will learn about it. Let's go. 43 stress. We can do it. Our husband has been sleeping around like crazy. At least it's not bringing us bastards. What is up here? What's going on here? Murder holes and priest holes. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor it twisted heart desires. Um... I am a simple woman. A hidden escape passage will her uh, now. I've. I shall enter and leave rooms by the only front door. Thanks, wench. I never trust if people that suddenly. Hey! You want to increase your security system? Hell, do I have a trick for you right there? Uh, thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Just saw it. About 10 minutes too late, but there you go. The gouty. Okay, listen up now. I have the message pinned, I think. In the channel chat, I have the message pinned. Someone, a very nice fellow uh, follower of mine, love them to death, said, I cannot just go around asking people why they are gouty. That was true. That was true. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. But I did. I, I looked at my daughter and it was like, why are you so gouty? And now she has the nickname, The Gouty. That's what she's known for. Reformed Christianity. Reformed it. And that's her legacy. At the age of 47, she gets the nickname The Gouty because this irrational adventurer... <laughs> <laughs> ah, good god, this game. Oh, boy. Great. Great. Yes, King Thomas, thanks. Hi, bye. Get out of here. Get out of here with that stuff. <laughs> My good god. <clears throat> oh, that's such a cool idea. Um, That's such a cool idea. Nicknames should have tier levels that you can't slip backwards on. That is such a cool idea. Especially since the game kind of tends to overwrite your nickname, doesn't it? Like, you, you are the something, and suddenly you just get a new name, and they're like, okay, you're this now. Um, a secret exposed. Queen Anna has become a, a, a adulterer? Are you... I, what, 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 what? But I... I think... Wait. Did I not legalize that? Uh, I think I legalized that. Okay, let's demand conversion. She might say no, but we'll try. Four hundred fifty for her to to convert. Nah. Nah, 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 lady. Nah, nah, nah. There we go. He go convert there. Such a cool idea. That would be something. I mean, they have levels for most traits now. 
So why not for the nickname as well? Give it some trait. Give, give it something. Like if you're named like the hammer or something, that should give dread. Or if you're something glorious, you know. <sighs> okay, so we think he's hot when he's angry. So uh, we could start seducing our rival. <laughs> um, I mean, no, that is ridiculous. We are not going to do that. And we're also not going to found a holy order because we do not have the money. Ah, oh, lord, 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 lord. Hammer to slash hammer to... <laughs> All right, very good. I mean, it could just remain the same name, right? But have levels of what it gives you to be called that. How are you doing? My boy. Oh boy. You're not doing great. You're helping defend uh, Catholic Egypt. Good on you. But you're heavily losing this one. So that's done. And you're defending against uh, Syria wanting the, the Grand Emirate of Syria. So they want that basically. And you're kind of losing that one as well. Byzantine Empire might finally fall. Uh, and so why might we? Okay, so I wanted to send just the local army. Let's see. Raise local army. Will it also bring our men-at-arms in again? Okay, that's fine. That's enough. Good. Let's check. Let's check on this nonsense. Okay. Who of these fools can we put in the commander seat? Uh, doesn't look like anyone really. This guy. This guy can go in the commander seat. Okay, let's go. Let's ship him off. Straight there. Enjoy. Goodbye. Good luck. Don't die. Try your best. <laughs> and see, this is how you win a crusade without losing all your money. Oh, look, the Pope suddenly has troops again. Wouldn't you know it? Now that I decide that it's not worth my time, energy and effort, now he comes. I'll go to a wedding. Okay, the wedding is cancelled. <laughs> that is too bad indeed. <sighs> okay, right. We got 11 travel experience. And Ladomir got a little bit of prestige because he, he reigned for two days as our regent. I suppose that's good. Um, a shady discussion. Do we warn Budo? Yeah. I don't care. King Budo needs to like us. Them is the guys that need to like us. I also don't like that they can have a really high opinion of you and still stay in a faction. That was much better in Crusader Kings too, I think. Ah yeah, the Poles are good people. I don't mind admitting it. There's no shame in it. Hello? I'm here to besiege your primary title. Witness me as I approach your gate. <laughs> One of your best friends is a Pole? Nice. As well he should be. Poles are good people. Oh, look at that. Yet another crusade failing utterly. But here we are. Bravely sieging the capital of our enemy. I don't care about her lover secret. We might we might die at these gates, but we die with honor and with dignity. 
Oh no, we were defeated. How could this have happened? My war contribution is 88%. We are in the first place. <laughs> Why can't I set a beneficiary? I already have one. <laughs> yeah, it was a good day to die. Except the dude that we wanted to die didn't even die. That's a big shame. Hey, you. Earn more money. So I can have it from you. God, there's so much going on. Nothing really helps us. Oh, oh, nephew was killed in battle somewhere. Minact, you were summoned indeed. Welcome back. So nice to see you here. We can negotiate an alliance inside the realm. No, we cannot game. This is no, there's no potential here. How do you see this as a potential? Silly tooltip, lying to us. Okay. All right now, calm down now, chat. Ooh, last that perk. We like that. Uh, Church and state, realm priest opinion plus fifty. That is a big one. That ensures, literally ensures the church pays you full taxes, basically. We don't necessarily need it, but thing is, we want it. And while the crusade rages, how about we build some stuff, huh? Upgrade our lovely little mill that we just built? Yes? I'd say we do. I'd say we are fairly well inclined to do so. Um... Okay, what? Okay, you want a weak hook to repair a bow that I'm not using. Listen, why do I get a 20 opinion penalty here? Let them have a hook on you or hate him, ha have him hate you. Good, good stuff, thank you. That's a great choice. Oh, we can build more windmills. Wait, why is this crossed out? Ah, windmills go only in the county capital. So it was a good choice to put it there. Right, so we have our pikemen stationed here. Let's see. Station. Okay, there's nothing here for stationed anymore. At least not for pike. Heavy cavalry. Well, for men at arms, we could kind of go with that. But that doesn't really help us. Doesn't really matter. Did you. Wait. Did this guy just expose a secret on himself? No, <laughs> he didn't. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we build? We already have blacksmith elf elsewhere. But a plus 4% holding tax on 5.67 is not bad. Then again, cattle pastures. <laughs> you know, hey, cattle pastures. <laughs> Or hunting grounds. I mean, kettle pastures are clearly superior with the income. Garrison size, which is good. We have a large garrison here. Levy of reinforcement, more levies. Development growth in the county, popular opinion plus two. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Development growth is also great. But we get it from both, don't we? Yeah. Uh, don't really need militia camps. Don't really need this. Night effectiveness is kind of attractive. It's kind of attractive. I don't know. Okay, chat, what do you say? What do we build? Cattle pastures, hunting grounds. Uh, militia camps, I don't want to build. Stables, I don't want to build. Blacksmith. Those are the three options. Cattle pastures, hunting grounds, blacksmith. What do you say? That's a big advantage of uh, having chat. I can I can offload some of the choices here. All right, so we got one for pastures. Do we hear more voices? More input. 
It's a pasta. Pasta is a good choice, so I'm, I'm totally up for that. Kettle pasta is going once. Yeah, tax and levies are nice. It's true. So that is a vote for blacksmith. So we have we have a tie now. One blacksmith, one pastures. We need a tiebreaker. Next voice breaks the tie. Well, I do. Though I'm still undecided. So I'm not a good tiebreaker in this very moment. <laughs> I would say. Let's just keep the game rolling in the background. So we earn a little bit more money while we wait. Fully destroyed. Completely and utterly obliterated. Alright, you know what? Can I, can I roll dice in, in Twitch chat? Like, can I go random... 1, 3 or something? Slash random? Is that, is that a possibility? Is that a thing that I can do? I mean, we already have the blacksmith, but then again, the station man at arms does get a plus 10%. That's I think uh, we'll go with blacksmith. We'll do that. Same question. <laughs> no, actually, we have horses uh, stationed here. Let's see if we can't do something for horses. That we haven't done yet. Doesn't look like it. So I would say another blacksmith is coming up. Especially since these are a little bit cheaper for some reason now. So this might be just another blacksmith, might it not? Who do we have stationed here? Archers. Do we have something for archers specifically? Did we lose again? Crazy. How does that keep happening, I wonder? Uh, I don't see anything specifically for archers. We already upgraded all that. I think we have enough blacksmith. Let's build one pastures now. Let's do that. And we'll go hold some more court. Okay. What do you want? You want to send this guy to be my knight. Good God. Yeah. Fine, send him over. I don't care. He'll just die. He'll just die is all. I don't mind having some more people dying under my control here. That's, uh, you know, it's not ideal, but I think we can live with it. Uh, let's see. Who else? What do you want? He gives us money for a wee cook. Now. How about we don't do this, huh? How about we don't do that? You give me money for the feast and you don't get a favor. He agrees. Very good. So we got no money and we don't owe a favor. I will, I will take that. Fred's love. Uh, a true hero. All vassals lose opinion of us. Oh, good God. Ah... Uh, every knight loses 10 opinion of us. I mean, he's not even bad. He's great. You shall be rewarded with a place in my household. 450 gold to this man. Sometimes holding court is not quite as fun as it should be. Oh, look at that. Where are we going this time? Anastasius. 
Where will we die this time? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> he is absolutely the very best Pope that ever there was to Pope. <laughs> oh, the kingdom of Tahir. Okay, well... Africa this time, I I assume. Okay, so this guy let's let's at least let's at least <sighs> let's get him married so he can have good children for us with this girl who has a lover on the side, but that's fine. And you will also educate all these children I got. All these little Grandsons. You will educate them all. All my grandsons will go to you. This is your punishment for costing me that much money. Now, Jerusalem is currently in Christian hands. I think. I mean, well... Uh, now they might not be. Let me check in a second. Uh, nope. Maybe we set a different beneficiary. Maybe she's bad luck. <laughs> Let's go with her. Prat Romila. Uh, so, nope, nope, nope. Uh, Catholic Egypt still holds Jerusalem. So that's still a thing. And you are losing your war here a little bit. But you might be just turning it around. We'll see. So where where to this time? Down there. Africa. I mean, maybe. Maybe this time we have a chance. Let's see how this fills up. Maybe he stays alone. But the problem is all of these are mine. <laughs> Uh Spy Master, do your thing. I mean that knight is absolutely fantastic. Let's see. Can't he can't he restore an accolade? Yeah, he can. He's a great knight. He can restore an accolade. I like that our emperor is an accolade knight of ours. Power of the Scriptures. I will memorize and recite a section on chastity, compassion, forgiveness. Think compassion. Think compassion is good. Let's destroy the Knight of Dignity title. It costs us nothing. Like the lower ones, let's destroy those. Maybe we can make a new one. Uh, force. Force. Can I now restore one? Yep. Oh, they're both very much suited for this. So this guy goes first and our brother will be his successor. There. Well done. I mean, Pope Innocent might... Uh, I mean, in a way... He's innocent, no? <laughs> ah! The factioning lady. Yeah, yeah, sure. Disrupt schemes. Our, our husband is apparently not cheating on us. Interesting, interesting stuff. So how's this happening here? Nope. <laughs> that's, that's gonna go exactly like it did. Okay, okay, okay. Something I wanted to do, but I can't afford right now. Darn. <laughs> I wanted to switch these out. I want to... No, that's not... I, I want to switch these out for uh, trebuchets. Oh, we can actually afford them. Let's get some trebs. Some trebuchets in here. We can't go to war anymore. But... Uh, yes, we can still engage in Catholic wars. Because when we reformed, we took right. And this means we keep our old head of faith. So, um, we are still there. We're still fine. 
uh, we just consider them astray. So actually our goal would be to convert him, kind of. <laughs> Somehow, but wait. Can I ask him to convert? No, he's not my vassal, so I can't really do that. But yeah, it, it, there's an option to do that. We'll send exactly the same amount of people we sent before. It's going to be exactly the same thing. Um, a reasonable point. Stibor, I don't care. I'll just pick whatever. Wait, do we have a man this gives him? I mean, if we control all this, you know. Could. Could try. Uh, what thing was just destroyed? Okay, nothing important. All of our important artifacts are still fine. So now we're building trebuchets. Yes. The good times are upon us. Kind of want to destroy the mangonels, but... We don't have enough trebuchets yet. Look at that. A five, uh, five out of 16. Oh, if only we were rich. If only we had actual money. True money. Real money. Not this weird little trickle of money we have. Uh, I mean, we would have to control it. So he would have to be our vassal. Uh, which... I mean... Our king of Italy has a claim on his bishopric there. And interestingly enough, no one would come and help him. <laughs> but he could excommunicate us, I think. I I'd hope he can. Like, imagine he gets attacked and he just doesn't have the power to excommunicate, excommunicate the person attacking him. That would be silly, but... Alright, already paying for itself here with the income. But I need to, I need to save some money. It's very, I really want to, but it's not good. Can't afford it just now. Income going up, up, up. The lickety split. I mean, if we have him as our vassal, we can force him to convert. Or we can try, anyway. When are we going? In four months. Wow. Uh, we're going to launch from down here. I think. It's probably closest. How many local troops do we have down here? We have 585 brave Christian soldiers. Let's check our factions while we're at it. Okay, so this one is smaller. Are we still swaying someone? Yeah, we are. But I think we're done with one of them. So let's start swaying these two, maybe. This guy won't be a problem alone, but the others might. A toast to Bjorn, our friend. Avert your eyes, everyone. The Empress has no clothes. So who are we swaying now? Queen and Duke. Okay, these are the right ones to sway. So swaying does work to get people out of factions, but it just takes forever, so... Good chance things won't go quite your way. Should we designate an heir? I mean, he is, he is the preferred heir anyway. He's just so old, you know. Just such an old lad. And he's a boy again. New lifestyle learning perk. Radiant. Level of devotion impact. Plus 100. Okay, so these are sometimes really, really powerful. What does this give us? Servants of the Lamb. Clergy opinion. Plus 30. I mean... I don't think that's going to affect the Pope. He's not a servant of the Lamb clergy. Or is he? 
Oh. That thing is going. Let's check his opinion of us. Mm, no. It's not in there, I don't think. Okay, let's launch our Palermo troops. The local lads. So we're gonna stop collecting after they reach that. Let's get someone in here we want to kill. Or ourselves, you know. If we want to kill ourselves, which we don't quite want to. Not really. This guy is in a faction against us. So we're gonna land him right there. Right there for six gold. Well invested, I'd say. Oh, yeah. County of Smolensk changes in development a little bit down. That's fine. No, work. Work on it. Integrate quicker. <laughs> uh, that's the slogan we're going to go with. Absolutely. Let's see. What's here? What's your problem? A little language. Greetings, my impeccable. Uh, I'm very interested in the upbringing of your son. You see, I speak Lithic. Lovely. A language that I believe would be most useful for him to learn. Um, just do your best, boy. Just do your best. Oh, she managed. I'm just willing to pay more money. It's, it's all... Just such a cheapskate. Uh, let's keep investing. It pays for itself. Eventually. Let's go. The Crusaders arrive over there. We'll arrive in the right place at the right time. In the right spot. You guys don't even know. I got this all figured out. Straight for the jugular. Right there. You see this? This is how you win. <laughs> we don't have enough soldiers. Is there anywhere we could even go? Yes. No. There's levies. What's the garrison? 550. We need to find a small garrison. 660. 400! Four 400. There. We can go there. And we'll arrive with less than 400. So that doesn't help us. <laughs> uh, can we go here without losing people? No. So this is where we stand. This is where we fight. You can't tune a fish, but you can Tunisia. My brain is not capable of following your train of thought. You must be much more intelligent than me. I have a feeling. <laughs> I can't keep up. Uh, who do we put in there? Our friend? Yeah. Let's play favorites. He's good at it. Just 11 more years to get that title integrated. <laughs> no problem. How about we improve our commanders? Like, we don't really need to organize the in parentheses army. Wait, where's the enemy? What's my war contribution? Zero? How dare you? I've been here from day one. Oh, luck. Good new fascination. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. So, Gills gives us another building slot. Good stuff. Banking development growth plus 10%. I think we'll take that. Urbanization is done in its in a moment anyway. Like she's just speed running researching here. 
I'm considering sending more troops. I'm considering it. Let's send our men at arms. And put this guy to organize the army instead. Because that way we have some siege down there and we could actually we could actually win that siege, you know? And we could win that We could win this crusade that way. Could. If we can bring our troops down here. Oh. Might not work my way. There is an army coming to crush us. Oh. There are more armies coming to crush everyone. So we go there. Maybe. I'm committing some troops. Ah, look at that. More contribution. Let's go. 100%. First place. No one's contributing as, as much as me. <laughs> but we might have a chance. It looks like the... Uh, the defenders are having a bit of a disjointed effort here. So that could be good. Let's see, where's gold? Ah, okay, that's that's decent. That's a good spot for us. And we got a siege guy in as well, which we want. So we just landed and we are facing some attrition here. Which is to be expected. Let's go. Let's have at it. How's our war contribution looking? 54% still. We're still in there. We're still in the running. I'm confused. I haven't seen a crusade actually succeed. Fourth time might be the charm. Wait, where are our trebuchets? Oh, they're, they're, they're calculated in there. Ah, okay. I started to use my mind and I thought for a second, but that is not a good thing to do if you don't know what you're thinking about. Very good, we got that. So where's the next? Oh, we'll just we'll just go along the coast. We like the ocean, we like the sea. We might get crushed doing that because we're very far away from the Crusader army. But we got a very high quality army here. Okay, so who's best? Ah, let's put him in. Come on. He has been faithful to us. He has been good to us. Let's put him in. Ah, lovely. We feel closer to God. After all, we are fighting a crusade. Okay, so the enemy is making an appearance now. Far away from me. Which, that's how I prefer it. If they're far away from us. But they might decide to come very close to us. Which, then again, I don't like. But, we can always try and flee on our boats. Which I think is okay. You know. Let's see what happens. Maybe the crusading armies decide to attack. I mean, there it is. Not a lot. <laughs> According to this, it's equal. According to my knowledge of uh, the previous crusades, it definitely is. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to take? If we take these two, then we build a land passage in here, basically, where we have our own supplies. We'll just keep doing this. We might get some cool... Prisoners, you know, there's a prisoner. We haven't ransomed anyone in a while. Maybe get a cool artifact or two. Though I'm quite worried about this. Because if they go that way, these guys might decide to come to me. And I don't want that. I think I'm making good choices, but 
I'm afraid that those good choices will turn around on me in, in, in a very, very short while. I don't think this is gonna go well for me long. So, we're, we're very slowly working our way in here. We have no... No urgency. We stick to the coast so we can immediately flee on our ships. While the other crusaders starve in the desert. <laughs> We're living our best life here. Just looking at the Mediterranean. Maybe going uh, fishing a little bit. Oh yes. The king. Please. Please. King Kibroi. I am so happy to see you. Thank you so much for your money. For your contribution. Uh, let's check our religious status here. So this is slowly growing. The Servant of the Lamb is slowly, slowly expanding. Um, I would like more of them right at home, you know. So we'll send him to reinforce that growth a little bit. Uh, let's see. This guy. I still can't ask him for gold. Not because he hates us. Not because he's not going to do it. Just because he doesn't have it. Fair enough. What's our co war contribution right now? Still feminine. I mean... I wonder. I mean, this must this must be a bug. It must be a bug that if we let 600 people die at the very start of the crusade, that, that that's no contribution. I'm sorry. But that shouldn't do this much, if anything. That feels just wrong, you know? Gain the firm hand perk. 5%. Okay. Stop arguing, children. Get out of here. So, by the way, chat. If there are any questions on how to play or anything in Crusader Kings, let's go. Let's let's hear it. Let's let's discuss. Okay. Now comes the daring part, which might incur the wrath of the infidels, who who might then come toward me, the unbelievers. You know. Hey, popcorn. So nice to see you. Welcome back. Glad you could join us. How you doing? You know, we could win the crusade here. We could win this. If if we get a good hostage in here, could finish it. Could absolutely finish it. We're not attacking exactly what the crusade is for, I don't think. But, like, that's what the crusade is for, which I think is kind of silly. But we might just do it here. Also love the speed running of our stuff here. I hope the next thing is going to be advanced bow making or banking to be pushed there. That would be great. Popcorn, how are your campaigns going? You always have some interesting tales. Okay, we didn't win the crusade, but we got some hostages. Defender of the faith. Tyranny gain, minus 25%. Zealot vassal opinion, plus 10. Okay, we'll take it. And, um, okay, let's take some more of these. Which is the best? Next best. 60 gold. Hello. Now, we're not here to enrich ourselves. We are here fighting for uh, Christ. That's what we're here for. To fight with our fellow crusaders who are probably reduced in number now. Or not so much. Nice. Love to hear it. All right, okay. Pushing in on Madia. Italy. You're doing Italy. Ah, very good. We absorbed Italy. Okay, so the Crusaders are being slaughtered. This is not new. This has happened before. Would they have won with my army? Not with this one. Had I sent all my troops... Perhaps. <laughs> Did I send all my troops? Absolutely not. Will I ever send all my troops? No. That is insane. Who would do that? To a doomed crusade? No, no. But we're definitely prolonging it for no good reason by sieging all this stuff here. So we'll see how it goes. The only way to win this basically is to have better technology 
better equipment, more troops. So I'm making the best of it. I'm just taking all those coastal regions while we're still earning money. So we get some hostages. We get some gold. You know. I mean, 41 gold. I'll take it. 13, that doesn't interest me too much, but... You know. And we, took, we, we built a bridgehead for the Crusaders to go and reorganize. Your queen had a child with the king of Croatia, but you kept it secret. Always keep it on the down low, these kind of things. Never tell them. Oh, look at that. 30 gold, just there, for no good reason. What do you want? Another weapon, another spear. Nah. Thank you. So what are your plans for Italy? Restore the Holy Roman Empire? Uh, just the Empire? The Roman Empire? There is no Holy Roman Empire in Crusade. Oh, there is. There will be. So why are the Crusaders attacking? Is it because they have a death wish? I think it might be. I think it might be. A start with a female ruler. Okay, that's difficult. That's some brave stuff you're doing there. Look at us. Living our best life. Oh, we got the regent. <laughs> so who's re reigning now? Oh boy, okay, they have no chance. The only reason we even have this many troops still on the ballot here is because I never raised my 30,000. That's the only reason, literally. <laughs> I mean, starts small steps, but starting as a woman in this game is is very very tough because everyone hates you just for being a woman. Which I mean is kind of realistic, isn't it? It's horrible, but somewhat realistic. Okay, the Crusaders are winning a little bit, but there are reinforcements coming. All the Crusaders might win that one. The Crusaders are winning. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? And we have definitely contributed to this one. How much? Still 56%. The Crusaders are actually winning a battle. The, the Crusaders are actually successful. I am in awe. I am aghast. I cannot believe it. And we will pretend that my taking the coastal regions was the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Ah, uh, our contribution was lower than the required hundred, so you get nothing. What? Huh? What? How is that possible? Oh, the very first time playing World of Warcraft. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Slowly inching toward our game there. Dungeons 4? I like it. The missions are a little bit too long for my taste. Like, they needn't be that long. But it's a good game. Okay, so next crusade, next try. Ah, uh, we'll get there. Don't you worry. We'll put another woman on another throne. But we're not building a holy order for sure. Um, I'm actually not sure. I think uh, the war score for the crusade and the war score for the war of the crusade might be different things. We'll check it in the next. Uh, um, no? A cooldown for Crusades? 
No. Okay, very good. We were warned about a plot against us. Um, I think it's a fervor thing. So if your religion has 100% uh, fervor, you can just basically keep going. <laughs> so. Should be fine. Oh, we're no longer allied with Bavaria. And we also don't have a Casa Spelli, but we need some stuff over here. We need some stuff for reasons. Because I want it. <laughs> no, actually, we... Uh, to have the Unite the Slavs thing. Oh, look at all these weddings coming up. And a tournament, too. Should we go to wedding? Let's go to wedding. It's completely safe for us, so we'll just do that. And we can build something. We can build something everywhere. Oh, yes, another building slot. You know what that means? Yep, yep, yep. Walls and towers, finally. I know we have more interesting stuff, like uh, farms and fields. Oh, God, that's very attractive. Plus 0 0.5 per month. That's a lot of money. <sighs> I so want to build the walls and towers. But I also so want to the farm... Chat, help me out. Quick question. Walls and towers of farms and field. Mine, this is our capital with a fourth level of nine. Which is horrible. It's horrible. I'm horrible. So, uh, what do you guys think? Yes, money has indeed been a bigger defense uh, problem than defense. It is true. It is true. Plus, we have a got we have gotten a lot of very defensible positions around here, and they have to take every single of these keeps to actually make a mission uh, a difference. Walls easy. Is it okay? Let me check. If we can build farms elsewhere, if we haven't already built them, then we're gonna go for that. And we can't build farms and fields here because that's not really an area where you can have that. It's the only place where we can build farms and fields still. So I think I think it has to be farms and fields because the money is just too good. And it defines everything. It defines how much army we can have. It defines literally everything. It doesn't matter if we can defend it if we can't pay to defend it. So I think um, I think we need to go with farms and fields this time. Uh, we can go, let's see. Oh, more cattle pastures. More hunting grounds. Defender advantage is pretty neat. I think we'll go with that. Hunting grounds or cattle pastures because, again, we need money more than anything. Let's go with cattle pastures here. And this little castle gets what? We could throw some hill forts in here. But there's also cattle pastures. Maybe we leave it open for a little while longer. This place here, I think. The archers. Would be another blacksmith, maybe. Plus 4%. It's big. Big stuff. Oh, yeah, you could also do that, but... Again, since since all these castles have to be taken before this county is taken fully, I'm not too fussed about it yet. I'm a little bit fussed about this. Why, Italy? Why? Why is this? Convert, you fool. Blessed be God indeed. Out of that faction right now. <laughs> okay, we've discovered urbanization, which was influenced. So, what are we being influenced on now? I am the Empress, and I want my bowl of stew. Give it to me. We had a good meal. Nice. Good meal is good. So, we are being 
exposed to banking, which we're working on anyway. Might as well keep going there. And then eventually we can get some crossbows, which isn't bad either. Um, let's check here. Should we get more knights? Like heavy, heavy cavalry? They cost a lot to maintain, but we're working on it. They cost a lot to buy as well, my god. But look at them. Look at how magnificent they are. Huh. I want more trebuchets now. We have to wait seven more years until we get into high medieval era. Let's check through our stuff. Because I'd rather repair these things right now to make sure they last us a good long while. And right now they all just cost 50 to repair. We are wearing the Slovian Lamella armor. Not the famed one. Oh, hurts my soul, but there's a rabbit paw to destroy. Hundred and twenty-five to repair this. Nah, we're not gonna do that yet. Twenty-five, very good. Don't care, do care. Do care. Don't care. So this one has renown, this one doesn't. Then again, men at arms maintenance minus six percent. Uh that's a powerful, powerful boon. That's gonna be hard to uh over to trump you know uh terrain bonuses horses um yeah good question let me check our cavalry has terrain bonuses in plains and drylands everywhere else it sucks but then again, sucking is kind of relative like uh they deal 195 damage due to where they are stationed uh, so if they get minus 75 damage, they still do deal more damage than anything I have. By far. By far. Nothing even comes close to this. Uh, actually, it's uh, 295. So they deal more than 200 damage still, even if they fight somewhere where they're not good at. Like, look at that. 22, 58, 34, 30, 104. These are just absolutely demolishing everything. Looking at our money. Ah, yes. You are so handsome, Queen Maria. I'm not desecrating no tombs. That's not my style. Okay, should we fight this guy? He's a good knight. Let's fight him. He won. We are wounded. Whoops. Okay, we're no longer wounded. Immediately treated. Okay, so we only need two more suede here. Let's start that. Everyone else is out of their factions now, which I appreciate. Oh, okay. We got a stewardship perk. Sometimes that happens. I like that. Uh, we could demand payment for hooks, which is nice. We have hooks that we're not going to use. Construction cost down is also very nice. Meritocracy we don't need. Tax woman, collect taxes effectiveness plus 25%. What is he doing at the moment? He is still increasing development. How is our development going? Where are we at? 46. That's 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 pretty high. It's not the highest, but it's pretty darn high. You improve the commanders, please. Okay, let's check how high it really is, comparatively. Like, where are we at? Okay. 79, 60, 67. Let's compare it to one of the... One of the other courts... So basically, Paris is around where we are. London is around where we are. So only the old civilization cradles have more development than us. 
And we are a beacon out here. Huh? How many hooks do we have? Let's check that. How many do we even still have? Okay, look at... Okay, okay. All right now. Okay now. All right now. I think we'll take this one. It doesn't really matter much, but... Unpause real quick so the game understands that something has changed. And... Let's try and make something of ourselves here. So can I now go and blackmail for money? How... How does that work? No, it's not blackmail. Um, hmm. Huh? Where's that option? Huh? Oh, man. How do I demand payment for a hook? Unaccept. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Let's modify his contract then with the hook that we have, which we can't even use for this. Because apparently we don't actually have a hook. Or it's just a weak hook, so it doesn't work for that. What? Do I have a hook or don't I? God, that system. Okay, we'll just blackmail this random lady. It causes a 61% stress. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but she... Uh. Huh? <laughs> Where is this? Demand payment. You have an available hook on Duke Gleb. Do I have to first blackmail them to get the hook? Okay, so it's up there. Okay. We'll, we'll try with this lady. She, okay, she doesn't have enough gold, so we don't try with this lady. Not enough gold. Not enough gold. Okay, I, I think all these commoners are kind of out. None of these matter. They don't have enough gold. So we have to blackmail them to get the hook. And it only really matters for people who are, you know, good. So we could blackmail this guy. Oh, God. So blackmail this guy for this. Oh, God. This might not have been worth it. So now I have the hook. Yeah. Huh? And now I can do... This. But he doesn't have enough gold. Okay, great. Fantastic. So I can blackmail you. Great. I don't want to be a drunkard, thank you. We'll just seclude ourselves. Oh, he has gold. How much? 50 gold. Okay, that, that's not worth the stress at all. Ah, oh, God. The intrigue side is just... I don't get it. I mean, I kind of get it, but I also don't. <laughs> let's follow the duck. Uh, like, okay, so let's say... We blackmail this guy, yeah? With other hooks. Fine. So, now he can't join a faction. Can he? Because... We kinda... We know his secret, so he can't. Something like that. I don't know. Okay. Now, he's allied with us, so he can't start a faction like that. And... Okay. If you have a strong hook, they can't start a faction. Did you not convert? 
Ah. You did convert. You l ah, okay, you don't love us all really well. Okay, fine. So... Okay. I mean, strong hooks are fine. They keep people out of factions. Fair enough. It's not a bad thing. Oh, whoa, 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 look at that. Yes, sir. Finally. How long? How long has it taken since last time the Pope gave us money? Willingly. Our court grandeur is down. Why? Ah, fine. We'll pump it up again. Let's get some stylish fashion in here. We had such a good run at some point where we could go below our means and still have the right court grandeur. But that means we can build stuff. Oh yes, oh yeah, alright, okay. And I think... Not cattle pastures, no. This one gets hill forts as well. Because this is where we have our our strong uh, horses, so I want those to be stronger. I want this to be defended proper. And cattle pastures don't give that much over time, so... I think it's a fine, it's an okay option to go with hill forts. Improve the, fe the, the defensiveness further. And what do we do here? I think... We'll go... With a blacksmith, because... Oh no, that's holding taxes. That's just on this. Plus 4%. That's not overall. Okay, in that case, we're gonna go with hunting grounds. Get some defensive bonuses in. And Krakow is building. Everything is building. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so when is this crusade? In nine months. That's that's a long time. That is... Huh? What happened here? Why... Why does... What? Why does Burgundy hold this? Hmm? Shouldn't that have been become its own little kingdom? Its own little crusader kingdom? No? Okay, fine. How's our religion? Slowly spreading. But there are uh, some vassals, I, I suppose, that aren't of the right faith. Let's check through. Can I... Doesn't matter. Why can't I filter this? I can filter everything except for this, where I would need to filter it, where it's important that I can filter it. Okay, my friend. Oh, God. What did I click? Convert. Please, everyone. You know what's at stake here. Okay, it explains on some of these, it quite explains why... They don't like us as well as they should, because they are of a different faith. Catholicism is wrong, people. Have you not heard of the servants of the Lamb? Come on now. We'll have to keep doing that for a little while longer, I think, because new rulers are likely to just be... Um, Catholics again. So, theologian plus three learning. 50 learning we'll have. And monthly piety plus 20%. It's another big win. Duchy of Krain. No. A claim on the kingdom of Burgundy. Sadly, only works if there's a child or a woman on the throne. So, you can't press a female claim. Except in our culture, now. That's allowed. 
What faction? <sighs> Come on. Are we swaying anyone? Yes. Probably the wrong people. Let's go swaying some more. You need to be swayed, and you need to be swayed. And you just need to go away and stop. That's what you need to do. Where are you? There. Can we... Go and find secrets here. Maybe we can blackmail him. Okay, there's some ransoms I never get collected. We should probably do that. We're always short on money as we are. As any good... Any good ruler would be. Always a little bit short on cash. Wait, is that Twitch goal updating? I feel like it isn't. Oh, well. Oh, Bavaria in a little bit of an upheaval, it appears. Go down? Alright, that's great. I might have been. Let me check. Maybe people are leaving. <laughs> have a little look. So, right now... Why can't I even see this properly? Like, the actual current number? Um... Because it's always a little bit delayed in the... In my analytics and stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, there might be followers leaving. Might be accurate. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get involved in some weird little... Trist and Tiff here. We gain snooty for 15 years. Nah, let's just listen. I'd rather be approachable than snooty. Politely start clapping to stop her. <clears throat> I think we'll take the Intrigue lifestyle experience. The Serene Doge will like us a little bit less, but that's fine. I don't need the Serene Doge to like me. When's that? Three months. We learned another lover secret. Good stuff. We will... Praise the couple, sure. Uh, let's go with that. Learning lifestyle experience, we'll take it. And this guy is dead or something that was part of the conspiracy, so we don't really need to seek for secrets there. Let's just go back to disrupting schemes here. Delightful. Life reaffirmed. Medium health boost. We like that. And no longer overwhelmed by stress. It's let, let's, let's have the people here have a little sleeping together. I've been meaning to talk to Monica. I'm trusting. Let's let's lose some stress here. How did Brittany get this bit? Oh. 
Okay. What? Huh? I... W was there a war? <laughs> I we weren't in a war. What just ended? I've noticed this. Uh, there are a bunch of things where just elements are missing now. Like, we didn't have a war name and nothing. I don't quite know why. Congratulations to the wedding party. Goodbye. You guys. You keep getting at it. So maybe we try and find some stuff on her. Let's see. Am I in the right county? I think. Yeah. It's the right one. A little bit dif difficult to tell sometimes, but... We'll check. So in 18 days, a new crusade starts. Where are we going? Where's that? Oh, I, I learned. Double click on it. That's how you go there. Um, <laughs> There's already wars going on here. But I'm still unwilling to send everyone. We're gonna just send our retinue. Walk them through West Rankia. Uh, we are not up for a challenge. Sorry we're in a hurry. I don't want to spend that kind of money on that kind of thing. Let's move our flag. Our golden flag. Over there, and that's where we will raise our men at arms and the local army. And that's what we're gonna send to the crusade. So, local, and I think the men at arms are raised automatically. Yeah. I don't know what I just clicked because it went in the way of the crossing out of the thing I wanted to cross out. Good stuff. So, here's our army. Okay. Let's find a good target. What's rich? 76. Ooh. I think we found our winner. Now we just need to hope. Uh, are you absolutely kidding me? Go this way. Kinda this way. Can we avoid dying there? That would be fantastic. And... I mean, we're not gonna walk through here. Okay, fine. Fine! Then just die there if you want. Wasn't there a modifier that you can click so it avoids that? We'll check. Uh, maybe become an herbalist. Increase our learning by one. Okay, so right now we're walking through something where we die. If I hold on CTRL and right click, does nothing. Alt, right click, does nothing at all. Shift, right click, just Q. So if we are like, okay, go here, go here, and then go here with shift, they avoid it. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why it chooses to go there. I also don't even understand why we would die here. Why would we lose people? This is the same same ish faith. Same enough faith. <laughs> so we're swaying these two fools. 24 months is a problem because our our guys are going to be down in the in the war there. Nature will provide for us. 1% chance to die, chat. There we go. And let's press it. Eh. We didn't die. Look at us. Not dying to silly things. What's up here? Nothing. Literally nothing. What was that pop-up just now, game? Couldn't tell you. Okay, so there's already a war going on, basically, I think. There's several wars, possibly, even. Oh, improved pastures in Krakow. We'll take this because it gives us zero stress. It's 100% insured, and we just improve everything. Let's organize the army so we earn some more money while we are still out with our army. 
Another child of our dynasty, a little nephew. Oh, look at him. Let's make him a diplomat. And... Let's get some alliance power going. It's really not much interesting here. I mean, these are strong in their own right, don't get me wrong. They're not terrible. But it's just not interesting. I'd rather have a inside alliance, something like that. Do we have enough concubines? Yeah, we do. So who's leading this? Can we put one of those people that are opposing us in here? Mm. I... Yep, him. But is he still with... No. The king of Croatia? Or the queen of Italy? I don't think we can put the queen in. The Croatia might be somewhere here. And I filter? What's his name? Bistrik. Okay, no, I can't filter that. Good stuff. Okay, so... Pattern recognition. Can we see the Croatian flag? Here, there he is. And the other one jumped out. Why? Is she dead? Was she taken out? Is she no longer... Nope. Ah, she was swayed out. Very good. Ah, thank you for learning our language. I appreciate it. Never once have I chosen anything else but that. Okay, so the Crusaders are being slaughtered, as is tradition. And we just might be as well once we arrive there, because we're quite close to those armies. You want what? You want to give us this guy? Oh yeah, 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 he's good. He's a knight. He's a solid knight. You can send him here. Uh, you are definitely forced. Where's this guy? Ratislav. And... He can actually activate an accolade, so he's actually a really good guy. Now, question. Who are we at war with? Everyone. So we needn't fight right there where they are. We can go elsewhere. And I think we'll do that. We'll just go away from where they are. Now, my, my assumption is... That, again, we're not going to get any war score contribution here. My contribution. War chest. Zero percent. Okay, so we have to watch this here. That's what's important. I really don't want to send our troops in there. Wait a moment. That was the good one. Let's go the 75 gold one. Oh, wait a moment. Okay, too late. Now, will they stand a chance? I don't quite think so. I mean, there's... There's more Crusaders coming in. But with their landing penalty... I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. And I don't want to send my troops to be slaughtered. Okay, fine. I'll go there. We'll arrive in the very last moment. <laughs> oh, come on. More factions. 
Like, she never had a rebellion to put down. Not, not a one. You know? But, she absolutely assuredly had a lot of stuff going on in her life. We definitely need a antiquarian. Let's put in our lover. Will we arrive in time to get any war contribution out of this? <laughs> I don't think so. Come on. Oh. Alright, fine. Wait, okay. How did they win and then still have this little... In terms of uh, war score? Okay, we need to be a little bit careful here. The enemy comes. And we don't want to be caught out. Question is, if we start this, will allies follow? Absolutely they will not. Hey guys, if I start a fight, will you help? No? Why not? I've been such a reliable ally. Have I not been? Okay, let's follow the movements here a little bit. Okay, in this battle we... Oh no. Okay, fine. We are in the battle now. I think I've lost our troops. Now we're in there. I think. Why is this so negative? Will you not leave me in peace? Uh, no, I don't want to be seduced. Thank you. I appreciate the offer though. Okay, all right, so we won that battle. Let's get that army. And... Siege something, that thing. Or just go here, fight maybe. Against a smaller army. Uh, I don't want to tour, to tour him, thank you. It's very nice that he learned something. That's kind of the point, isn't it? Okay, let's lose a bunch of troops there, but start a siege. What's our war contribution now? Okay, our score is... is there. It exists. And it doesn't... It doesn't relate to this. Okay. Alright. What? The Duchy of East Franconia and Hessen. Okay. Alright, so we're starting a war with Germany. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Right there. That's what you want. In the middle of a crusade. Convert, you fool. Alright, so we're a little bit exposed here. And that's probably where the enemy is going to jump. On us. Yep. They're definitely coming. And the Crusaders are, of course, not coming. So let's retreat. And lose even more. Okay. They just let us die here. Okay. Fair enough. Got greedy. Got punished. 
That's how it goes. Oh, we got a fascination. Oh, now, now the Crusaders are moving. All right, okay. Did we lose someone? Oh, did someone die? I mean, a lot of our, like, our, all our good men died, so. Oops. Oh, man. Lost our marshal in there. Whoops. <laughs> Not good. You don't want that. Uh, let's put the mayor in here. This is kind of pointless. Go improve the people. Our troops were completely obliterated. Uh, but now our rank is first. Because... We got 5,280 from battles. And I have a feeling that's not gonna count. It's, it's, I think it's an error. Oh, okay, wait a moment. Have we all fascinations now? So we're working on this five years. We're being exposed to it and we're culturally fascinated with now. That's the book something, book something. Hmm. What thing? I don't know. Shall we hold court, lose some more money? Let's go. First petitioner, what do you want? Okay, stop, stop hurting your people. What do we have here? <sighs> I don't care. We'll click anything. I literally don't care. You will want to build a temple. For the glory of God, absolutely will fund the temple. Costs us money, but what do you want to do? A regalia. Absolute response to that. Our regalia isn't great. So we have a chance of getting one. And we'll let our troops be restored. Honestly, let's... Let's increase our heavy cavalry a little bit. Because they are our... Main boys. And let's get more trebuchets in there as well. And I think we'll destroy the mangonels now. Because they cost money, but they're they're unreasonably bad compared to uh, trebuchets. I'd rather have more trebuchets. So we had 70 siege before in mangonels and trebuchets. So we'll just now have 70 siege in trebuchets alone. Look at them crusaders over there winning. Okay. Someone is giving us a very bad prophecy card type thing. All right, okay. Why? Just because we're at war? I'm not even there. What do you want? <laughs> okay, but now we might actually join that war against Germany. Why Why, why not? Let's do that. Um, I mean, because our bandit arms are kind of completely destroyed, but... Oh, we already have a German flag here. Do we raise all? Eh. I'll just go with a local army. Also just a token force, sort of. Just so we show up. Just so they know we care. A little bit anyway. We haven't really crushed anyone in a while, you know. Okay, maybe we raise some more. Just some. So these two armies should be enough then. Another well, claim on England. I don't care. All these claims of women are just... Oh, we can demand payments from seven people. Let's see. 50 gold from here. Let's go. 50 gold from you, our daughter. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> uh, 
and our marshal as well. Everyone pays us money now. Let's see. It is I who is honored. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for helping pay for our ambition to create our good regalia. So we're looking at 20... Oh, hello. Available dynasty points. We like that. We like that very much. And she will go for more erudition. So monthly piety and clergy opinion plus five. That's what she is. She is religious. So that's her legacy in the dynasty. That's where we're going. We're not min-maxing. We're just having some fun with that. A true servant of the Lamb. Okay, you want to go join the people there? Okay, fine. Bye. Enjoy. Good luck. So the crusade looks a little bit like it's failing. Our concubine was ransomed. All right. So the 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 gathering here, I think, is it related to the state of our dudes? No. They're not going to be full up in force in a few days. Okay. Let's come together. All right, no, okay, so one army is still working on it. I think this is four months. Ah. Should we go attack Braunschweig? I mean, we might as well, while we wait, start some sieges. We have enough manpower. Just will take forever. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. I have 50 gold. We can afford it. So these will take forever. Because we do not have any sort of siege here in the fourth level. It's just too high. But it's fine. Because they will produce some results until this army here is ready. And this army has a siege then. Once it is ready. And that is quite soon indeed. We will be to full force again. And we have 1337 gold. That is amazing. We are missing a Chancellor. Let's make sure we get one. Um, Queen Mary. Our niece. Let's put her in. She kind of hates us. Though she's not a strong vassal demanding a spot. 16 is above the base requirement. So let's put her in. Let's get that 100 opinion from someone who has been in factions forever. How's our crusade contribution? We're still first rank. Great. We're first rank in the one where where we're losing. Okay, so now we send these guys in. And once they arrive there to take over the siege, we'll put this other army over as well. So we'll select them already because selecting armies is a little bit of annoyance. Oh, the enemy is coming for us. Okay. Let's see. We might pull back into our own holdings. Oh, I didn't know they were kind of enemies. So let's put them here. Let's just put them together. Let's not make any mistakes here. So who's our best person for the job? He is kind of already in there. What are our chances? We're fighting in planes, so our knights are pretty good here. They should be. Show the king in at once. Now, them fighting us here means um, they get the defensive bonus. So it could go wrong, and it is going wrong. They are winning, which is a little bit 
silly because we definitely have the better army. But it doesn't matter. This lady is not known for her uh, military acumen. She really isn't. Get the physician for our wounded knights. That's a big shame. Uh, you pay 225 to... Uh, um, to what? To him? For what? Why? Court physician. Okay, right. Alright. Okay, fine. Sure. Let's get the really good court physician in there. We don't have one right now. Uh, simple tincture with supplies. Okay, don't do more than you need to. Very well done, thanks. So we got absolutely slapped around by Germany now. For no other reason than, again, I was too greedy in moving my troops. And too greedy to raise all the army we have. That's just really it. There's there's nothing else to it. Uh, what do you need? A simple treatment will suffice. Okay, do no more than necessary. I trust you. And we're walking all the way away. <sighs> Let's see. Carefree. Stress gain is good. I think we're going to go for this here. Uh, we want the health boost on this line more than anything. A murderer. We know about a murderer. How much is that worth to us? Oh! Yeah, that's some decent regalia, maybe. Short rain duration, minus 20% is strong. Uh, so let's have a quick comparison. And keep extorting our, f our family there. So a quick comparison with our regalia. Why do we have so many things? That we don't know about, apparently. So we have this. Romance scheme power. Nah, this is definitely better. Much better. So we'll put that in and destroy this thing. Which we only recently repaired for 50 gold. So, well. You win some, you lose some. It's how it goes. Alright, okay. Back into the fray. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're, we're not snooping. Who's snooping? No one's snooping. Yeah, so finally the demand payment has made a little bit of sense here. But yeah, that... that that one stung, that one hurt. That was a lot of pain we were put through. So, the only way I know how to deal with pain like that is sieging. <laughs> That's all she knows. Is that Dahl the guy that we just bought for lots of money? No, he isn't. Good. I thought the guy we just bought for like 225 gold to be our court physician died. That would have... <sighs> I wouldn't have enjoyed that, let's say. I would not have enjoyed that. So we've got a Siege mart Master in there. Our allies are kind of walking places, but this might be Crusading allies. I mean, no one is here anymore, right? There's like a few thousand Crusaders still chipping away, trying their luck, but most of them are like, ah, thanks. We good. We done. We seen all we can see here. Shame. And the next crusade for Valencia. <laughs> Can you believe this stuff? This is the fifth crusade in, in uh, succession, in, in sequence. Oh, God. But we're in it. And sure. Yes, uh, it's all the same pope. Five crusades started by the very same pope. We're gonna go for the heartland now. No, 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 no. He needs to keep pushing. There will be another successful crusade. 
Mystical knowledge. I wonder what would happen if I imitate their practices. What do other texts say? Ah. What do other texts say? She's 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 gonna learn. The Knights of the Reliquary has been established. Very good. One learning by one and one learning lifestyle perk. I'm taking that. I don't care what else comes after here. Or do I? Do I gamble? I think we'll gamble. She has stumbled across something remarkable. Let's e experiment a little bit. Let's see what happens. If it's a witch secret, I'm going to be so sad. Because one learning lifestyle... And it's, that's stronger than being a witch, for sure. Oh no, oh, the emperor has died. The rambunctious. Okay, so we become a wise woman. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's be a wise woman. It kind of suits her, but it's not as good as the other thing. King Gargamel becomes our friend. Blasphemous beliefs? Nonsense. Okay, let's uh, show him the error in his ways. So he's no longer superstitious. He likes us. And we get a weak hook on him. Okay, now we need a new spouse. Can I go with women? Now. Okay, equal marriage is not a thing yet, so people don't mind if you if you have a female lover, but people will mind everything else, basically. Ah, right. I wish you could very specifically choose to not have someone, because there were queens who very specifically chose not to have someone. And I think that's a pretty cool thing, honestly. And that should be valid. Honestly, it is valid, right? So what's the penalty if we don't have a spouse? All those unpressed claims, which I just don't really care about much to press. So we're sieging our way to the kingdom capital see what we can do there. Uh, I don't care. I'll tr I trust him. If he has another, then that's his own darn fold. More payments to demand. Oh! Okay. 165 gold for him being a superstitious fool. Okay, I'll take that. Let's go. The Lone Wanderer perk. Is that... Is that Fallout? Starfield? I think it is. So he's not gonna give us gold and he can't give us gold. Why not? Why do you hate us? Let's go sway him. We haven't swayed the Pope in a while. But never lose track of your army while you're doing these things. Okay, so the Germans are coming in, but this time our allies are around. And I think we have a pretty straight shot from Fulda down to Frankfurt. Maybe go through Marburg. But! First we have to go somewhere where we can uh, get our food back in. And we definitely have to flee the enemy right now. Because they're just going to jump us. While we're kind of dying in Fulda. Oh god. Okay, let's split like that maybe. So possibly they have to cross a river. Okay, I will be a terrible ally if I don't join him here.
Okay, he's he's coming my way. So we'll just stick to this. Oh no. Will we arrive in time or will this just be another big defeat? I think it will be just another big defeat. Yeah, definitely getting slapped again. <laughs> Germany is completely bonking us around. I think it's it's time for more troops. Honestly, I will remain unmarried. Thank you. I said I will remain unmarried. Thank you. Good God. The Germans. Who'd have thunk? Such a peaceful people. But now we're sick of it. So now we're coming. Coming to get another slapping. <laughs> now this time will be different, I tell you. Is there anywhere we can take on food again? Supplies? In this size? No. We cannot, so we definitely have to split here. Um... Let's make some convincing arguments here to convince the people to like us. Okay, can you guys take on food again? Yes, you can. So this guy swayed. Another one died, so that probably means... Uh, what are you doing? Convert and be swayed. Silly, silly man. So we need supplies, at least a little bit. And he's not taking on supplies because he's just too big for this county. Oh, good God. So in the mountains, supplies are very, very low. So it's on me to, um, to keep an eye on that. Can't blame my people for following my commands. Just can't. Our rival is dead. Good. Good on us. I'll split this army as well. So they don't lose supply while they're standing around waiting for everyone to take on supplies. So then I have to wait for them to take on supplies. Ah, let's go to the party here. We have the death of a enemy to... Oh, he is good. Look at him. Famous champion, robust, order member, military engineer, skilled tactician. Come to court, my boy. I need you in my armies. Let's give you... Um, can't marry you. Off. Maybe because he's an order member. But he's our knight now. So that is a certainty. Where is he? Magnus. Nope. Let's put him in here. Can Magnus create an accolade? Yes. Scoundrel and idealist. Sure. We'll go with that. Our son gets to have his own accolade. Oh god, okay. We need to get moving. We're losing money hand over fist. So we'll pull in together. Let's move a little bit quicker. And for once, we want to win against Germany. I'm not interested in my future. I know what it holds. More ruin. Too few concubines. Our court physician. Sure. Let's take him. Ah, uh, thank you so much for being here. Have a great day as well and enjoy your meal. Or as we say in good old Germany, Mahlzeit. And now we go slap the Germans. Let's go. Uh, what's here? Psh. 
I don't care. We beat the wolf. Well done, us. Can we befriend someone, maybe? Who should like us but doesn't? Okay, we're pretty good here. But let's make a friend of our queen in Italy. Can manage things from here. We're now in the... Fifth Crusade? But we have to slap Germany more than anything. So if we don't join, I'm thinking we're gonna win the Crusade. Basically my thought. Finally, we have won against Germany in an honest battle. Well, honest-ish battle. So they move there. We'll just follow straight away. Okay. I don't care what you have to say. So we lost how many thousands just going here? Too many. More learning. Iron Constitution, that's what we want. Okay, so let's check. What is the fourth level here and why can't I get there? Let me get there, please. Fourth level is seven. And the fourth level is too high for us with trebuchets. Do I need to cons be concerned about the fourth level of seven in Krakow then? Doesn't really feel like it. It's nine. Like, okay. Should we upgrade? I mean, it's another 0 0.3 gold per month. Not yet. Not while we're at war. With all our troops raised. So he's retaking the little bit in Fulda that we took. But we are taking their capital in hopes of that doing it. But there's more troops coming. So he's going to turn around and slap us again. She is not good in warfare. She really isn't doing too well. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go talk with her. Sure, why not? I like taking the special options that we only have because we have something going on. Uh, but I can't lose opinion of the queen here, so we'll go with... Let's talk about her a little bit. And now she's our friend. And now let's mingle with everyone. So every guest with at least one trade in common gets 20 opinion of us. Which is pretty great. Uh, I don't care. Okay, we're leaving. Okay, of course. Yeah, th now they're winning it. Because we're not there. Let's speed it up more because... Well... Siege is taking forever. And we're rapidly losing troops as well now. And we didn't even get anyone good out of it. Oh, we actually did, but... Not good enough. Let's lose a few more thousand people. Both by fighting and by attrition. Let's get in here. And we got slapped again. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Prisoners can be ransomed. We can take the 50 out of... F oh, no, 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 no. This one is a valuable one. I think these are all valuable. We'll just keep them. Okay, what we're gonna do is... We're gonna split off a new army. So, we're gonna kick out all the levies, kinda. Or most of the levies, anyway. All these boys. So these cost us 29 per month. So we're going to disband this. 
And this army... We'll leave here to take on supplies. We're slowly walking them toward the crusade. How about that? We'll send them there. And hopefully they just can take on supplies as they walk. I don't think they can. Tapestry was destroyed. Yeah, that's okay. Mulneki Saga was destroyed. Yeah, they're slowly going down now. Yeah, no, no. I'm keeping all these children. Trust me. But we're done with Germany. We're not fighting Germany anymore. <laughs> Have we learned our lesson? I don't think so, but we're not, we're not fighting them anymore. Uh, I don't care. Let's, before we leave, give them a moment to rest. Right there, in Zagreb. They should have a little bit of a moment to muster their forces again. And then we can still join the crusade. I don't care about that claim. But Germany really, really destroyed us. Crazy. Literally nothing that we could do. I mean, probably a lot that we could have done. Oh, look. The Crusaders are now losing. White intensely as well, so... We could go elsewhere and just raid the coast again. But I think only war score in the actual target matters, so... Why would we even have to go here somewhere? Like there? Might as well go fight Germany in that case. Oh god, they're hunting. They're hunting the Crusaders. That's no good. Oh boy. Oh boy. And my goal, of course, was to land down there, start sieging some stuff. We might still do it. Let's, let's, I mean, let's try. What have we got to lose, except for a lot of men? Let's see, is there a good spouse for us? Anyone. Anyone who's about as learned as us. Or even close. Let's get him. And demand some conversion here. See, you're now an emperor. Isn't that great? Ah, thank you, my queen. I appreciate your contribution. So we're coming in soon. Opening another frontier. Well, soon is very relative. We will be sailing for a little while first. Can negotiate an alliance inside the realm, I hope. Yeah, in Italy. Fine, I don't mind. Did Italy break apart? No. Very good. Let's get um, carefree. Less stress gain. Okay, I think what we're doing right now is running straight into the enemy where they got all their armies. So that's ill-advised, I would think. 
The Lord bless us all. Temple was funded. Okay. Yeah, nah. Um, nah, thanks. Let's get this. Let's get Malorca. It's part of the crusade. They're gonna come and bash us, but... Might as well do something with our troops. And there is not enough supply on this island to actually get our army resupplied, I think. So big shame. But what can you do? The Crusaders are being completely destroyed again. If only Germany was here. <laughs> okay, the king died. So that means we have new vassals to deal with. Let's check through for the conversion requirements. Make sure everyone is a servant of the lamb. And kind of likes us, ideally. Servant. Nope. There's a fool. Demand to convert. I will not have Catholic fools. Look at what they're doing to us. If they were servants of the lamb, they wouldn't cause all these pointlets horrible wars. Blessed be God for your conversion. Okay. So we got this. Now we can get this. For a lot of money. Oh god. I'll just split my army. Put half there, half there. And hope they don't die too much here. I kind of do. What's the army with the trebuchets? This one. Is it worth it to me? I think. We'll do that. They're currently engaged there. So now I can split this army. And kind of put them like this. So they can re uh, resupply. In this area here. And I would think okay now they are going for the big crusader army but we did something you know second rank it's nothing to scoff at are you the pope sending more troops who would, who would have thunk we seized the maritime trading handbook in menorca and this actually has enough to supply these troops as well so we get some of that going. Simple tincture. Let's go for safe treatment then. Thank you so much. A bird automaton on display. Or we sell it. Uh, mechanical bird studies. We don't really need that. Uh, so we're going to put it on display. Get that prestige, make him happy. I don't know. Crusaders are getting royally destroyed. Even with the papal armies. I think Spain is just completely out of reach for us. We have fully researched everything. We are now in the high medieval era. But it takes us four more years due to the average development in Slovian countries until we can start on something cool here and then we can get bombards oh yeah and so much more cranes let's see do we get more building slots somewhere here domain limit plus one uh, that's not too important to us I think we're going to go first for Primo and Ultimo Genitor. So we can expand a little bit more without worrying about title loss. Oh, 
Okay. So now we got these troops sitting around doing nothing. Just waiting for the... Uh... Rise of the Mongols. That is not good. The Mongols are kind of at our doorstep. But luckily, the Byzantine Empire <laughs> has kind of built a wall for us. So where are the Mongols? I mean, there's the Persian Empire for them to attack. There, there's a lot between us and them. I don't even know where exactly they are. Hey, do you have money? No, he doesn't have money. I mean, you almost have money. Come on now. I'm doing your crusade. Give me money. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're getting to the end of today's stream. I kind of hope that uh, she would die, maybe. Not because I don't like her or anything. Don't get me wrong there. But... Because, mainly... It's getting late for me. So, let's bring up the topic of raiding again. Okay, white peace with Germany. No loss then. No big loss anyway. It's fair enough. Patrols can marry. Excellent. And I think we'll go... Ah, oh, you know what. What does it matter? Let's try and get some money out of this. Still, while we still can. There's nothing much to get. All right, another CK3 th stream starting shortly. What's shortly? When is that? Could try and jump this. Let us. Let's spend all that money to ship our troops to their certain death. In 30 minutes, 15 minutes ago. All right. Okay, I think we can, we can we can try another 15 minutes or so. That's doable in my mind. Come on, combine. Why won't you combine? Now they are. Okay, so they're definitely marching straight down to us. And they're definitely going to kill us outright. What do you want to build? A brooch. Not interested in brooches. Will we finish our siege is the question. Will we finish the siege? People. Oh, they are running past us. Okay, okay, listen here now. I don't know what just happened. I don't know what's happening still. But we'll just not move. Their vision is based on movement, isn't it? If we don't move, they're not going to attack us. Is it? Is it? Is it how it works? Yep. All right, bye. See ya. I don't mind that. <laughs> what the hell was that? I can only imagine that they are fighting elsewhere for something other than this. Maybe part of the Iberian struggle? I have no idea what just happened. Not a single clue what that was. Never seen it. So let's put her in. And work on the taxes, honestly. Ah, doesn't matter. Taxes does almost nothing. Let's keep working in Krakow on uh, improving our development. 10% taxes sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. What do you want? Only the best to my court. There we go.
Let's hold some court. Why not? Weapon ban in cities. Always. Um, sure. Let's give this man in prison a meal. Why not? Only peace can bring us prosperity. We'll take the stress. What are they doing? What is this? Did we break them? I, I feel like we broke them. Alright, okay. We can wait another five minutes. Uh, we still have a lot to do here in Spain. For example, watch our troops starve. That's crazy. I don't I don't know what this is. Completely seem to have broken them. And all the crusaders are suddenly back. Which makes very little sense to me, honestly. Okay. So we got two baronies. Question is, is that enough? To resupply our people. No, it doesn't. Not really. Well, it sh should be here. And it immediately isn't anymore. Good stuff. Okay, the Crusaders are getting slapped again. <laughs> Very good. And we are losing... Troops to attrition. Oh, man. I really like the supply mechanics. Don't get me wrong. I'm really enjoying them, but... Obviously, I don't like watching my people starve. I'm happy to see them die in battle, but... I'd rather not have them starve. My choice in the tree right now was just completely arbitrary. I just took what was going there. <laughs> Slap the Crusader is the worst board game in the world, I can tell you. I have been the Slapped Crusader many a time, and it is not fun. No, I could write better than this. Let's see. We should be taking on supplies here. I will treasure the thought. Thank you. A diplomacy challenge. Sure. I don't care about this event chain right now. I All I care about is getting our people from not starving. Ideally. Somehow. Okay, but... So they're not losing anything, but they're also not gaining anything. It's weird. So we'll go in uh, Crusader Occupied Territory. There they should be gaining something. Plus the enemy of the Crusaders are coming, so... Okay, cool. Everyone jumps atop our troops. Okay, then we just combine, have them starve and die in battle or something. Let's go north. Maybe where everyone else is. Okay, we got caught out. We did. That ends our little excursion into the Crusades and saves us money. So it's not even that bad that it happened. And our army com got completely obliterated. So that's also okay. Uh, we should pay the ransom for a... I don't care. Keep my grandson if you will. Let's go get some ransoms ourselves. Oh man, there's so much going on here. Ransom to Germany, to Islam. The Duke can give me some. 
Honestly, the demand payment thing is much better now that it's kind of just popped up here and you can simply click through it and it's not such a pain to deal with than the actual interface for it. Uh, 10 out of 10 can recommend. It's a good way to make some money on the side. Get everyone a little bit mad at you for just being like, hey, you give me money because we are relatives. And again, it's a fairly realistic thing. I know some families that do stuff like that. Yep. Ah, that's a lot of money just coming our way. Let's pardon our husband. I don't know what he did, but that's what you do, isn't it? Okay. Um. Her heir is gonna have the worst time. I swear. Weakening the empire left and right in completely pointless wars that she has no business in being in or, or no hope of winning actually It's crazy If only the Pope would give us money again But he is a pauper not a pauper Okay, so the Crusaders are still there. They're just kind of slowly getting slapped. I'm, I'm I'm really amazed that these armies here, they have been starving for forever. Oh, we get a new nickname. With the trees. And we get uh, the, the loyal trait, which I don't mind. Sure. Oh, with the tress. It's not with the trees. I always misread that one. With the tress, not the trees. What's our contribution here? Big. Of course it is, because that's the one where we die. <laughs> where we lose. I am not the Lorax. Sometimes I wish I were, but I sure aren't. Can I buy a claim on this? No. Can only buy claims if you're not already a king or emperor. Wait a moment. The Crusaders won a battle? Okay. They did. They won a single battle. Awesome. Uh, not much anyway, no, but... I don't understand what happened here. How they won, to begin with. Okay, so... There are only 12,000 troops left. Is that true? I mean, we don't have to go back. We did our best here. But maybe they can still win this. We'll see. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a moment. Kofi Kuma just joined earlier, didn't they? Followed. That's cool. Um, yeah, we'll do that in a moment. Let's receive that good... I kind of want to see what happens here for a little while longer, honestly, now. Uh, and I want to check how old she is. 66. Okay, there's still still a few years left in, in, in the old Empress. This, this might work out. It's crazy. But it might just work out. Like, there's, there's big hostile armies, but they are not part of the war. 
through occupation, they could still win this if they manage to occupy everything, actually. Which they have enough troops. There are enough armies. I don't know what sort of technicality happened here. Okay, 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 okay. There's... There are the armies of Islam, but that's still not really any impressive amount. Okay, let's check this a little bit longer. We're definitely going to do the raid on Kofikuma. 100%. Absolutely with you there. Uh, as I'm not planning on doing all that much longer today, but... I'm curious now. Vitamir, stay humble. Oh, yes! L ladies and gentlemen, we have a new cultural era and we're gonna go with Primo Genitor. Absolutely, 10 years. Change our succession to Ultimo Genitor. If this actually works out, I will be so impressed with these guys. I will be sad that we lost all our troops here. But I'll be absolutely impressed with them. No doubt about that. They are fighting a little bit in the wrong direction. They need to go north, but... I wouldn't even mind losing first rank here. If this is even true. I don't know if that's the real first rank, honestly. But everything we took is still taken. Yeah, let's see if they if they can win this battle there. They are throwing enough men at it. I'm not I'm not bringing any soldiers in this anymore. We lost enough blood in this war. Another enemy ally joins the war. Okay, the crusaders are hunting down armies. Yeah, uh, that battle, I think, was most of their troops. No. Now it's just from the occupation. It's going big up now. I don't think they have anything occupied anymore. So that's pretty much it. Why it went up so hard. And most of what they're fighting for is occupied. I feel like sending in the men at arms, but it's very costly to bring them down there. Unless we can make it a land road. Like, these are all hostile. These are not enemies. I think that's what happened. Some internal war. I mean, that's how the real crusades, uh, the real defense against the crusades also kind of broke apart. Um, it was the infighting on the side of Islam. Not in this particular one, but uh, around Jerusalem, I'm sure. Either the first or the second or third crusade, I'm not quite sure which one it was, but... Infighting was a big problem for them. So if they take more... Stop fighting kids. I generally tend to click things if it only has one option, but that is not a good idea, I tell you. Definitely not a good idea. Safe treatment might lessen symptom temporarily and has few risks. Uh... <gasps> Time to treat the gout? It is too late for caution. Let's go. We are no longer gout ridden. It is a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the point in her lifetime where it's all turned around. She is no longer gout ridden. This is the change we've been waiting for. This is all, this, this is what it's all for. This is why we're here. This is why we came. This is why we fought. While we laughed, while we loved, to lose the gout. <laughs> I didn't think it could happen. But it did. Do we have a concubine spot for our court physician? No, we do not, but 
He definitely deserve it. And the and the crusade is happening as well. Going well. Look at all this. <laughs> okay, we actually won the crusade. Okay, so what happened in the in the in the last 10 minutes? Lost the gout, won the crusade. Our contribution was lower than the required 100, so you gain nothing. What? Okay, what? Honestly, what? I'm not joining another crusade, I'm done. <laughs> what? Our contribution was way higher than 100. I don't understand. I think this is a big, big, big honking bug. Yeah, definitely. Either it's displaying our contribution wrong, or it's not considering our contribution. So, well, either way, we're, we're done for today, I think. Uh, and we'll try the raid thing, yeah? So what do I need to do? I just go and go to my chat here and then I type raid and then I type in coffee kuma is that how it works okay I'll press enter if, if I do it wrong then this channel is intended for mature audiences okay ready to raid and if we go right now, that's that's that. Yeah, okay. And we're done for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, thanks so much uh, for joining. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out Twitch as well. Come over there. Join the stream sometimes. And we'll go over to uh, Coffee Kuma now. Thanks so much for being here, especially you, Fusion Warrior. And see you around next time, I hope. Maybe with the goal not going down. <laughs> All right. Well, click the button now and see what happens. Click.